Wait, so what is this called anyway? Oh, just a nightmare on Elm Street, huh? Reboot. Yeah. I don't think they put yeah. that in the title, but yep, that'd be huh. it. Um, well, you know, welcome everyone. We're we're just hey. you know, we're coming Hi, off a relative high with Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah. Oh yes. And now yep. into what feels like we've we're on this journey. We've almost caught up to kind of. You know, modern times, I know 2010, but still, I'm mm. like, especially with the nature of rebooting it, it's like, uh. The original Freddy actor ain't here no more, I'm assuming, so. No. He's been a mainstay nope. for the entire time. Well, he's, maybe he's getting on, you know, and it's time for some new blood. Uh, or maybe they're like, nah, we want to get away from the original actor because he's, like, tied to the old thing, and this is a reboot, and we're moving in a new direction. We gotta strike out, do our own thing. And if we hire him, it'll make us, it'll make people think that this is like the old ones, but this ain't like the old ones. This is new. Or yeah, whatever. we're progressing. Whoa. What we know going in is that uh, Freddy will be played by Jackie Earl Haley, who you may know as Rorschach from Watchmen movie oh okay. is that okay. so all right. all right yeah i can see it i can see it yeah there's like a okay give him a shot i can see it um and the it's so funny to say this after watching a new nightmare but the creators would like to take freddy to a darker place not so uh, much funny mm -hmm. yeah that's um mm -hmm. that's okay. Boring, like mm, okay bit of a whatever. problem okay. that always works like, out because originally it's all like it was kind of like oh this isn't scary because freddy is a clown and he falls down the stairs but like it kind of grew on me after a while. It's all like, man, it's kind of fun how like how much this dude loves to be such an asshole, and I'm I'm digging it, you know. So the fact that they're gonna take him to his darker, more serious direction, and I don't like it. We'll see. Well, it, just, it, it just means that um, instead of being able to rely on comedy, now they actually have to try and be scary. Okay. I'm sure. That's yeah, gonna work which out really well. I don't know about you he guys, but like that kind of character. So like the, I think even three sort of lent a little bit into his goofiness. Doesn't he start speaking to camera? Is that the first time he starts speaking to camera? Was in three. Um, three is when he first calls someone bitch. Yeah. When they lean into camp, it tends to do better. When they try and pretend that he's an actual serious villain that we're supposed to, you know, be really scared of, then it mm -hmm. either just becomes embarrassing because they've missed the mark, or really, really boring, like a new nightmare. It looks as if. On a budget of 35 million, this did make money. It's 115 million worldwide. Okay. But okay. nothing, nothing since 2010. No sequel. So nope. I guess it didn't do good That's enough as now. far as they were concerned. This well, is the end shit. of our arc on A Nightmare on Elm Street. And, oh my uh, God. What a way to, a way to anyway. end it with a, with a new beginning. I mean, what else is there to say? This has been a wacky ride. Let's see what 2010 right. has to offer because the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s had some interesting entries. Three, <laughs> two, one go. The fact is, I think we talked about it, but there is a crazy amount of potential with the premise. But I don't know oh, that absolutely. when you get told the premise that you'd expect to see what you see across these films. You really don't. I was surprised at how shit the premise was really <laughs> executed across all of these movies in general. Well, I mean, it goes back to the first one. I don't think the first one took much advantage of it. I no, agree. not at all. Not a lot like was explained. Majorly two, maybe three scenes where I was like, oh, look at that. And it was like, wasn't it wasn't one of the worst movies, the one to finally like tackle the whole idea of him going into dreams. He made a deal with the dream people Clancy or Brown. some shit. Clancy Brown. Clancy in Brown. It. <laughs> yeah. I love Clancy Brown. I love Clancy Brown too. I like money. Yeah, this is very, very <sighs> Serious opening. And it's hard to take it too seriously because of the fact that we've just seen those other ones. <laughs> it's like, okay, if you want to go this direction. It shouldn't be impossible. Produced, Produced by, by Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. By Michael, Bay. Michael, 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 Mike, Michael Bay? Uh-oh. We haven't done our Bay oh, arc why yet. I am directly below. Enemy screwed him. Dude, why do you have it in text? Just have it on the... Yeah, just chalk. have the chalk. My guess yeah. is that they had it in the chalk, and then someone said, no, that's not good enough. Legally, they got in trouble, yeah. Text. That's my guess. This is really dark for a place you eat. It's a dream, I Rags. Know. Hey, can I have some more coffee, please? He has a fear of being ignored by waitresses. Ding dong, <laughs> motherfucker. One thing I did read was that uh, one of the things they wanted to do away with was the one-liners. Oh, okay. the, the famously no. hated one-liners. Yeah, we gotta get rid of those. <laughs> you can do... I think you can pull off one-liners that are in a, in a scary thing. I think you can do it. Of mm -hmm. course, absolutely. They can, you know, be haunting and rest with you. And you don't think that they're a one-liner when they're said, but then you reflect on it, you're like, oh, I guess that was a one-liner. It was just... 
deep and pensive. Correct, Drag. Subtlety is possible. Apparently Robert England said he was fully in support of rebooting it because CG can open up the world to some crazy dream stuff. And it's like, oh. Mm. I mean, it can. It can. It can. If you use it well. It can. Lady, if you use it well. It won't. L well, Lady, your kitchen is, is on fire. Lady. <laughs> physical stuff lets you open up into some crazy dream cool stuff. Oh, there's all piggies. Oh, no, Jigsaw. Oh, don't order the pork. Wow, yeah, that's symbolic of cooking up saw, huh? Do, 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 do. This is normal, by the way. What, didn't you hear my swing? Yeah, I thought that was, I did that real me. loud, but okay. See, sometimes I wonder about choices like that, because a lot of that visually was just for us. Dean, Dean. He's got a cut, that's though, hasn't he? I'm not done with that. Oh, my goodness. There it is. How that's spooky! The uh, serious reboot the, is so far not really any way different from how a lot of them sort of begin, so... Mm -hmm. I think this is a bit more noticeably trying to be very, um, minimalistic and, and grounded. I know you. You are in uh, Supernatural. Why well, is Chris and Dean? Okay. Whoa. Very quiet. Wow, who gives money diner. like that? <laughs> yeah, why do you go That's fucked up. He's yeah, first like, to well, die. bills that are crumpled up and everything. We began going through my childhood, and that's when they started, these nightmares. Yeah, because yeah, we're, we're night. doing a full reboot now. Everything's refreshed. They're just dreams. Okay, they're not real. Okay, that solves my problem. Thanks. They're real. Oh, uh, you klutz. I'm gonna go clean myself up, it's okay. I'm gonna go powder my nose. He <laughs> Be careful with that. That's like a diner. No, he cut himself, shit. Rags. You couldn't cut... No, that was Freddy Krueger. No, he be, wouldn't because think you can't that. Cut that yourself. would be crazy. Steak oh, knives that, that look like that from steak places, they don't cut through anything. What about steak? Right, right. No, definitely. They definitely don't cut through. Steak. You're not real. Whoa. I am now. God damn! Mm. It's not. It's not bad. You know. Right. Are you? Know, I was I'm... expecting him to last longer than that, and uh, just, you know. <laughs> yeah. oh, I figured he was gonna die. He's our I opening know. sort of be scared That's our thing. Cold open man. Yeah. Well, you know, I figure it's like, oh, my past. Uh, we're gonna learn about my past, <laughs> and then he just goes bleh, dead. <laughs> I'm fine I with that. I think the idea was that, like, oh, the psychologist thinks this all stems from trauma, but he doesn't understand that really it's a dream demon. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the psychologist is like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good summary. You look like the girls that are always in the spooky dreams. No one else see this spooky girl? <laughs> do they get real priests to do this, or do they just have actors dress up as priests? I would assume <laughs> the latter. I assume they get real priests to do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that grab felt a little over the line for the way the movie's going so far, you know? It's too, like, it's completely unnecessary. Mm-hmm. It was already creepy with the the mocks. Oh, there or he just... is. Hey, Clancy what's up, Brown. Mr. Clancy, Clancy. Brown? <laughs> what's up, man? Oh, that guy. Okay. CB. You know, Nance, if you need someone to talk to. Don't call me. Oh, I recognize her, too. I think she was yeah. in uh, Spin City. Remember that show? Anybody watch that sitcom? I didn't no. watch that. <laughs> oh, I think no, you said Sin City no. the movie. I'm like, no, no, no. Sin City with uh, Michael J. Fox. Mm. Mm. And then I think later Charlie Sheen. You knew Dean that far back. What was that? Yeah. I... Does human interaction. I hate that. Jesus, that is me. But I don't know how I'm in that picture. I didn't meet Dean until high school. That's weird. That is weird. What yeah, are we supposed to conclude on that? What um, what was the logic in the first film for why Freddy attacks? Like, why doesn't he do it straight up? Why, why does he wait until they're like this age? Uh, because he loved kids as a... He loved killing kids when he was real, so... Yeah. So now he's attacking people in their 20s? Like, yeah, Frank, help me out here. That didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Yeah, why he, like, because he killed children in the past, but now he's killing Yeah, that's what I'm kids. saying, why... So I'm no, guessing they're retconning the children angle now? No, I think no. they're, they're sticking with the children thing, I think the thing, reason but... is because in a movie, if you went around, like, brutally killing children for the movie, <laughs> it just doesn't I work. know that. I'm asking if the movie's ever accounted for it, though. They don't. Hmm. You didn't see anything. You weren't right there. Chris was. She's already fucked up, so leave her alone. 
That's not very bad. nice to say at a funeral. Everyone needs to lighten up. Yeah, it's only one guy that died. Yeah, yeah people really die every day. I wonder what they're going to recreate, because obviously they have the pick of the litter from several yeah. movies. Uh, I mean, I would have to imagine that the blood shooting out of the, the bed, they're going to yes. recreate that you one. You know what's funny? I don't think that would be the number one recreation. Number one would be the bar. It'd be the one on the ceiling, right? Nope, bath. Yeah, the ceiling one's got to be the ceiling. Oh, nope, you think bath. so? I think the bath is the number one thing they'd recreate. That. As much as- oh, this is a recreation, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no! Oh, no. No. no! Oh, that looks so bad! Stick to practical, buddy! No. Well, and, and, and you know what? Right? I don't buy it's... that that looked good in 2010. No. 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 Hell no. Dude, Avatar it looked... came out way before this. <laughs> it looked better in the 80s. It Maybe. did. Oh, this it did. Post, I mean, this in the 80s. Jurassic Park. In the this 80s, they used that the material, yeah. right? Like, like how, how they, they achieved the effect in the 80s by like punching out a hole in the wall and then putting like a sheet over it really a sheet tightly. Over it. Yeah. And then like Robert England would like. Put his you face know, in it. Yeah, that's how you do it. it. Yeah, but, but no, they, we they did it piss. like thousands of dollars just to make that shit. <laughs> that's, right. that's what's shittier. so funny about it is it very likely costs more. I saw a photo of Dean and I when we were like five, but you know, it's funny. I, I don't remember knowing Dean before high school. Who can remember being five years old? A lot of people, actually. A lot of people. Yeah, I can. Well, obviously, she's hiding something. The mum, uh, they've obviously. I, I hidden. guess, yeah. Yeah, definitely, but... Oh, are they gonna do the thing where she's one of the people who killed, you know, oh, yeah. Freddy? I thought yeah. Yeah. it's the, the same reveal. Plot not Obviously, the same. we're all equipped with the knowledge this time yes. around. Because we're, we're experts. Mm -hmm. we're, we're Elm Street we're experts Freddy. now. Freddy's gonna get you. Alright, when's the loud sound <laughs> gonna happen? <laughs> it, well, it'd be a cat, right? A cat? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Why would... But why would a cat be hanging out up there? Because it'd be scary. Because it's it's gonna be there for scare. It needs to be a really fat a cat going, it's gonna be diabetes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, just very slowly walking out of the scene. If those little boxes have all the Freddy information, they're just perched right there, that's dumb as fuck. Oh, of course it's a floopy light as well, it can't just, you know, just turn on straight away. Yeah, it's gotta be yep. a spooky light. It wasn't that much darker with the light off, honestly. No, it wasn't. It was pretty <laughs> bright. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. You want to, no, wait. What's, when, how, when are you five in America? Which grade? <laughs> I um, thought you were about to say, when are you five in America? <laughs> <laughs> well, when are you five? <laughs> well, that was sh shortly following when you're four, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. It makes so many fucking crap and horror movies about dolls. What the fuck? Ooh, what does that mean? Oh, hang on, we're building up. Here comes the rat. Ooh, yeah, is it gonna be a rat or a cat? Come on, cat. Maybe Jump it's gonna be face. Rex. <laughs> Rex. Ooh, Rex, the best character from that movie. Oh. Oh. Okay. Remember me? No. no so. Okay, okay. mom, drinking. you got some explaining to do. What did she? Yeah. Was, was the attic? <laughs> It was a dream, apparently. So, yep. Weirdly, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to think of what the twist is going to be. Like that, she was aware of Freddy when she was super young. What is that? Uh, no. But her parents sort of maybe. Oh, she's been drawing him. I'm guessing. Freddy could turn up and say, "Your mother never told you what happened to your father." I want to talk to somebody. Thanks, Ernie Mara. You're too good for this movie. Get out. Yeah, it's crazy seeing like a born actress in a movie like that's. <laughs> No offense, Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> now it was to be a slow but sure victory. Ooh, are we gonna get the um body bag? I feel like I, if I were remaking it, I would keep that. That shit was cool. Just please don't make it shittier. Yeah, please. It's you don't have to see it, okay? <laughs> you could put a body bag on someone. <laughs> no. Some of them even improvised. Oh, that's. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, that yeah, book is book tight. Is Teacher, this page is confusing me. There's blood on it. We always have, yeah, we have weapon. our classic uh, school. <laughs> Doing yeah, our sleepies. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, geez. Well, that's uh, so why we told you to duck and cover, kids. See, this, this looks great, but the transition to it was. Eh. You really shouldn't fall asleep in class. It's okay. It's all right, yeah. All right. <laughs> Just as beautiful as ever. 
don't think I'm a fan of the voice. I'm not sure how I feel about it, yeah. This whole world. One little bit. Hmm. <laughs> it's hard the problem, to... Yeah, the thing is with dreams is that dreams, like, you realize you're in them. It's not like, boom, all the ashes and everything, you know? It needs to be a bit more... Yeah, the know. subtle transition. Subtle transition, the yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, the film would be so cool if, it, like, each of the people in the room and the posters and the chairs all one by one as the camera was moving around were changing to the next sort of... What, you mean anything a little bit more subtle yeah. than an explosion Yeah, yeah the details we don't adding up. do that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, why is it never? Why does it never start like a little bit odd and then become increasingly abstract over like several minutes? Well, and why don't we have the odd things oh happening God, that the, the characters street. are kind of just chill with, and then we're like, huh? Wait, what? Why are they chill with that? Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh wait, what car is that? Uh, yeah, you got to put the handbrake. That on. is a um, convertible <laughs> Volkswagen Beetle. Beetle. Dog. Hey, hey dog. 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 Rufus. Dog. Rufus. Dog. 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 Best dog. character. Will he ascend to Rex levels? We can only. We, who knows? <laughs> it wouldn't take much. What do you mean? Uh, excuse Sorry. me. It would take a tremendous amount. Yeah. Dog's got a. I'm quite sort of referencing how they wasted Rex. It wouldn't take much <laughs> to do better. They didn't waste Rex. Rex was wonderful. Yes, they did. He was Don't absolutely even. amazing. Okay. They did. Yeah. They did not do Rex justice. It wasn't Rex's fault. Yeah, I, I go to that. I'm a big fan of justice. Hey, I have to fly to London on a red eye tonight. Isn't that a huge red flag for the mum? You know, because yeah. oh, I, I guess not. Because she's gonna find the spooky things in the attic. Be all right. Have a safe flight. I just worry about you. Just well, stay awake until. Really do about it. Until you're like 21 or whatever, and then he'll start coming after you. You want some <laughs> subpar biscuits and maybe a can of Coke with four ice cubes? Because if you do, I've got I've got you covered. Mom, do you have any hypnocell? <laughs> and if you see nice Freddy, Prius, tell him to Mom. fuck off. So, is the format here that she's the main character, or is she going to get killed like halfway through and we'll switch uh, to Rooney Mara? I think uh. Rooney Mara got like top billing in the credits or something. So well, Rooney Mara is playing Nancy. A... She's, oh, yeah, so. Dean Russell. Oh, well, that, well, the guy. Then, in that case, then well, it's she's just absolutely... you know we've given a lot of time to this lady, so I assume uh, you know that she's gonna maybe die at the halfway point or something. Maybe, yeah, like a yeah, like a Final Destination thing where they focus really hard on the guy who's about to die. All that movie we watched. No, but they're focusing way more here. Like she's the POV character, seemingly. Yeah. Mm. What the fuck um, are you doing? Just me I'm banging on your windows. Dude, I'm, as you know, I'm already, I'm already getting tired of the film just going, Oh, hey, it's so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like, that's, that's, that's it doesn't surprise me at all. The like like the fucking yeah, right. self control over jump scares is non existent in the horror world. Well, this was definitely of the era when jump scares yeah. were getting pretty fucking excessive. It's it's, it's mm -hmm. bad enough that they're there, but they're also like fucking praised by people. It's like oh, the jump scares are so. I good. don't know why. It's just it's startling. It's they not really jump me. scare. Or it's a startle. Yeah, it's like oh, thanks. My reflexes work. Thanks. Yeah, my reflex exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having these dreams. I think Dean was having them too. In the original, they all had the same dream, so that's how they all knew that something mm. was up, you know? I guess this time around, it's like one at a time. He's burned and, and, and melted. And he's always trying to attack me with these no, knives. on his fingers. Oh, oh okay. 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 Maybe not. Right. So they are doing the bridge thing. Because you're all the kids of the people who burned at him. It's just a dream, Don't all right? Shh. Um, I don't know. I would already be freaked the fuck out if any one of you guys had the exact same fucking movie monster in there. <laughs> You'd be like, wait, yeah. what? It's so light in your room at night. How do you sleep? <laughs> Rufus! Wow, look at how bright it is. Get in here. Yeah. You're already dreaming, right love. Now. Ruf Rufus isn't Rufus oh, so anymore. I didn't even re I thought it was the next morning for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so, so nice out. Because I was about to say, well, it's the next morning. That's thing. another... What do you mean? And then the, the, the scene changed. It's like, oh no, it's night. <laughs> Yet another okay, major flaw of a lot of horror is not utilizing darkness, instead almost yeah. ruining it. Yeah, remember, yeah. Dead Space Remake, one of the best things about that game was that it dark was, was actually it was dark. dark. It was dark. Yeah. yeah. The descent, where they wanted as most use, use as little light as possible. 
Man, this have music Rufus is Walker. very insistent, I gotta say. Yeah. yeah. Better without it. No! Oh, oh damn! No <laughs> but it's a dream, fine. so he's probably fine. Oh, okay. He's probably he might be okay. fine. Well, well Not... maybe. They could go either way on that. <laughs> She'll wake up and Rufus will be dead. Welcome to preschool. Oh, that was not a very good transition. No. no it should have just been she much. goes to the door and editing. closes it, and then she turns around and it's this. Yeah. Or welcome to Outlast really, 2, everybody. They, really they could have had it be a one take. Stop That's doing that. That's what I'm that. saying. They could have yeah. had it be a one take. Which yeah. goes inside, should be the yeah. focus, all right? It should be that we get really cool dream shit. That's like your whole deal. Yeah. Well, welcome to Outlast 2, everybody. It's all downhill from here. Oops. <laughs> it's a part of the horror. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, oh. didn't match. Uh, yeah, the mouth. Did oh, not. they did the speed up thing. Edit. Yeah, that did not look good. That was bad. The one thing characters never seem to realize, and they use it as payoff every once in a while, is like, you never think I could still be dreaming. Because this oh, could still be a dream, and again. then she dies. That could be what they do. I mean, the fact that we're even lingering on this yeah. scene instead of moving yeah. on means it's almost certainly a dream. There it is. Oh. Oh. No, no they, showed, no. they showed a little bit of restraint there. The tiniest <laughs> little bit. I'm, I'm, I am Suddenly shocked. He's... Oh, yeah, this could be the one where she gets killed and run around on the ceiling, you know? And he sees it. Yeah, could he be. Still do that. And then the guy goes to prison, like, uh, or yeah, to jail. Dude, look, she's breathing a sigh of relief. It's over. It's ready. Told you. <laughs> there he is. Oh, yeah, there you go. Found Ceiling you. time. Get going. Come on, film. Do it. Show me what you can do. Stop her. Up you go. Do it. Do it well. There she Definitely. goes. <laughs> um, what? Nah, this is no, nah, this is no, nah, this is it's like a, no, the, uh, on right it's like a scary movie bit. <laughs> yeah, well, they just did, they just did the Freddy vs. Jason uh, thing. No, yeah. you guys fucked that, up. That, that was not was, Yeah, that was that was not that was that was worse than the original. That was bad. the original. Having a slowly move around the walls, yeah, obviously exactly. breaching gravity hardcore, and the blood just spewing out as she goes. Like that's mm -hmm. way well, yeah, better. And, and having all of the sounds be like normal sounds rather than a. Yeah. <laughs> and all of those sound effects. That's a shame. The weird bit of it is that she is yeah. flying with blood coming out of her. It's not that she's flying at high speed into walls. That's not the surreal aspect of that horror. What is this music? What is, it, what, the, what is this? What is this? It's so insistent. It insists upon itself. Like that's that, probably that, that's like the money shots. You're supposed to take care with them. Yeah. Why are you fucking making them shit? Ah, uh, see, so now we're switching. Now yeah, we're over switching to, Rooney. to the real POV. Mm -hmm. We got our five minute protagonist, our 25 minute protagonist. Now we got our hour and a half protagonist. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. an hour protagonist, I guess. <laughs> Does this mean that this mother character has bottles of vodka hidden in every consumer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm gonna get dead booze out of my closet. Oh, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> tackle, tackle. How did he get in here? At like full speed like that. I teleported. Whose blood is that? Is it your blood? Uh, yes. It's my blood. Yes. Yes. Someone killed her in her sleep. <laughs> See, so the thing for me is if I was in his situation, I would kind of half expect it reasonable of my friend to turn me in. Like, yeah. I, would, I would probably have to acknowledge that. I'd be like, look, you've not really got a choice because I'm sounding insane. I know that. Yeah. Hey, like, I, I don't even know what I would do if I were him. <laughs> Nancy. We gotta stop this. Ah, uh, she almost certainly heard that. Yeah. 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 You are not very quiet, so, my man. If you die in your dreams, you die for real. Nancy, I can hear a boy in there. How do you know that already? <laughs> That's dumb as fuck. She would have come right in. Yeah, there you go. He's caught. I don't know, man. Yeah, I think I would give myself up. I'd just be like, look, I'm gonna give you my story and then <laughs> hope for the best. I would imagine that some, like, the fact you that there are dents blood. and marks and things in the ceiling. That would be the thing consistent is this, with someone being like 
You know what I mean? Yeah, there isn't anything that can connect him to killing a, like, with, like, a murder, they wouldn't have a murder weapon, which is a big deal. His DNA would be all over the, here around the room to an extent, obviously, because... Oh, I mean, obviously it looks horrible. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> um, really I'm trying bad. to think of, yeah, like, could have really good But like lawyer. I'm saying, I don't know, wouldn't there be, like, I just feel like, wouldn't there be impacts in the ceiling that would just be, like, what, so, like, he threw her at the ceiling? Mm -hmm. Like, really? <laughs> Is that even possible? Yeah, like, how did you yeah. break every bone in her body and slice her like that and get rid of the murder weapon? We can't <laughs> find it. We have no idea where it is. Yeah, where'd you keep the claws, kid? I guess it's viable that he, between the time of the murder and now, he tossed it somewhere and that, you know... Maybe, but you think they'd look really, really well, hard. Yeah, like, this is all, like, the reality is this looks horrible. <laughs> like, he, mm. he's almost certainly going well, to I mean, You know, if we told each other this story of a kid who apparently had a fucking nightmare demon killed his girlfriend. Oh, he's in there with someone this time. Oh, it's gonna be a corn rapey. Rapey, rapey! Oh, I guess it just changed bunks Wait, to so the Wait, so do bottom. you want the top or the bottom? Just so we're clear. I don't mind myself. I just want to... <laughs> I mean, you were already on the top one. Do you want to swapsies oh. every day? Or, like, what's, what's going on? Yes, Mr. Tarantino, uh, I'd like to be in a better movie. I mean, it's not that bad. For doing a meme, he was doing a meme, Mahler. Then do a better meme. Stay away. Quiet! You masturbating up there? <laughs> <laughs> but make me rape you. Last off. Last off. Gigablast. Yo. <laughs> Favorite search engine. Oh no, the computer's in sleep mode. Oh, oh no. no, it bleeds. <laughs> Whenever they do this, it's like, oh, so he's asleep then. No. Yeah, they need to have a couple fake outs where we think they're dreaming, but they're not. Just to keep us on our toes. It's, yeah, so this is like, no. super predictable right now. Even though they like What's... crossed her out over him being... Yeah, what did that look like from his yeah. angle? Did she oh, no, they're vibrating. nothing? Why isn't it vibrating You're from that moving, end? You're man! He's freddying. Ah, uh, dude, and that's the thing, why, it's, it's such a lame where it's like, oh, look, it's shaking a little bit, as opposed to, like, just weird object permanence or lack thereof, yeah. like, it's more subtle. Yeah, or, just, or you like, have a library teaching. that's connected to a basketball court that's connected to a school yeah. hallway. Maybe like, like uh, you know, you know, the walls are painted a weird color. It's just like a yeah. strange. Yeah, color. have these people never dreamed? Yeah, but it wasn't much. Well, maybe the, the bookshelves thing. just get taller and taller. Oh, Freddy's doing book club. I went to oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's a freaky oh, guy Oh, that might have been one of the worst things. <laughs> that was yeah. really bad. It would have been yeah. creepier, too, if he just, like, slowly turned and then looked at him in the eye or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. I mean, I'm just annoyed. Is it crazy that I think that it would have been better if he just didn't do anything? If he got woken up after seeing <laughs> the back of him? Folks, posted your bail. Wait, me down here or? Oh, Sick. I guess it was He's him. Just... Okay. My name He's is Doc. Got to be dreaming, because what's the bail going to be like if you're the main suspect in one of the most gory mass murder, the gory murders in the entire village's history? But this has to be a dream. Or is this a dream? Yeah, it's a dream. That's it must what, be a that's dream. That's what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. There are subtle it's ways to do that. Like, yeah. Instead of going bomb. Uh, wow. Yeah, he just turns <laughs> around yeah. and it's a wall. We don't need. You don't oh, need. Yeah, you don't need these sound effects either, like the just, or, or any of that. Stop it. You it, just have him walk through a down door. Down he's in this <laughs> industrial place, and then it takes him yeah. like a minute to realize that this is weird because it's a dream. Mm -hmm. Then he like all of a sudden <laughs> notices that he like looks around like it's weird. This the movie has been a really bad YouTube problem. Sound effects. I know it has a problem of not shutting the fuck up. It's so <laughs> insistent. It really does insist upon itself. It's, it's, right. uh, it's got <laughs> ideas. It's got it's got some execution. It wants you to know about it. Oh no, little children are scary. <gasps> I... <laughs> oh. Fucking sound effects are getting real old. Oh god. Yeah. Why is that so loud? <laughs> um, All right, it's not oh, it's like oh my God. It's almost more goofy when they're actually doing goofy shit. Wait, do you mean it's almost less goofy when they're doing goofy shit? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the first two in the movie. Are they like the first two he's killed in forever? Oh, God. I know. Just me. Oh, fuck off. I hate that line. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know, Jesse. Jesse! 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 Do you think you can turn back time? Answer me! No. Do you think you can bring the dead back to life? No. No! No! I didn't fucking think so. No! 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 no. Why are you... What, what is this? I don't like this. I haven't even caught you yet. <laughs> Just kill him. What do you? F I don't know. Stupid. It seemed like he was at maximum the, fear there. In the so. other movie, it's, yeah. he's a little troll. He do a little trolling. So like when he doesn't kill people right away, it's because he's having fun. This mm -hmm. is just. I, I don't know why you haven't killed him. You know, what? I think that's actually how it creates the troll character because. Oh, well, there you go. Mm, okay. Whatever. But he doesn't see it coming, so there's no. F nope. Shut up. He's dead now. Ah. Uh, so how? What? Yeah. I didn't do it. I mean, they know that he didn't do it because there was a camera in there. Yeah, there. Camera, there was a yeah. camera. <laughs> Shouldn't well, Freddy be trying to make? The first film, yeah, he made it look like a suicide. Made it look like suicide. Yeah. Did you know that after the heart stops beating, the brain keeps functioning for well over seven minutes? We got six more minutes to play. That's not a very Freddy line. <laughs> you made me think about the DNA of. Nightmare on Elm Street, because, yeah, the the big problem is he could just be killing all of them real quick, and that'd be boring. No one wants to see, like, a movie where he just goes, dead, 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 and it's like, well, every time they sleep, just dead. And so, you have to invent reasons for him to troll with them, then it's like, one of the best ways was probably what created the character of him being kind of a troll. A little gremlin. Clown yeah, man. Yeah, the yeah. fear gives him strength. Beyond fear giving him strength, the fact that he's enjoying it and having fun, where he, like, goes to kill him, even at maximum fear, but then he's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm gonna back off, see if yeah, they can... Yeah. And, uh... It's fun, funny, goofy, but they're trying to like, you know, find a way to delay this, even though he's super serious this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it defined his character a lot. Like, yeah, it just kind of makes Don't sense because right it's troll. Very hard to limit a fucking dream killer. I keep dreaming about children too, and then there's also a school. That's gotta mean something. Yeah, but I mean, what? We didn't go to school together until like sixth grade. Because like the other killers, even Jason and Michael Myers and stuff, guns typically slow them down, which is weird. You, you, you can create lots of extended scenes with that. And like with Whoa. Jason, it's all like he he can't move very fast because he's been like dead a while, but he's still got like major retard strength. Mm -hmm. what, if, what if the angle that they had was that like if somebody manages to figure it out, they can start changing the dream world themselves, right? Like lucid dreaming, they basically realize, oh shit, I'm dreaming. I can, That's like, what the third one was. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't we do more of that? I don't know. Need, yeah, they need to be like, you have to be, or like, finding your courage. They even went further in the third one of the girl finding her courage and then uh, succumbing to her insecurities again once Freddy, like, cranked them up. And plus, he's Freddy Krueger. He killed children who probably, like, never stood a chance fighting back against them. So showing courage and just fighting back against them in the dream is something that he's, like, particularly weak to because he's a child murderer. Yeah, you'd have mm -hmm. him portrayed ultimately yeah, as a manual. coward because he's... Yeah. Dead. He's, He's used to finding people who can't fight back. In case you're wondering what we missed in that last scene, they've they've learned yeah. that uh, after 70 hours, your brain starts going into micro naps, so you're dreaming and you don't even know it. And so they're like, "Oh, we gotta stay awake, but if we get to a certain point, we're just gonna dream anyway." So didn't um, I don't know. Okay. There needs to be this understanding that we we are going to fall asleep, or else we will just die. So we need to come yeah. up with some kind of a plan because it's going to happen. Wasn't the first movie she said she'd been awake for ten days or something? It was like which what? I just like yeah. that's when you die. Bullshit. Like <laughs> no, Rex. She had a pot of coffee under her bed. So. Uh. <laughs> Do I have some sort of connection with Chris, Dean, and Jesse, or Quentin? Like maybe we went to school together when we were little or something like that. Not that I can recall. Do we ever know a guy named Freddy? I don't think so. You do you remember him. You're a lying liar. Weasley little liar, dude. Night. Good night. You're not coming out, right? I need my booze. Uh, sleep. I mean sleep. Sleep booze. Nancy's starting to remember. You should probably make sure that Nancy can't hear you. Oh, there's the bathtub. Yeah. We're lucky we get to see a titty, too. You didn't even get to see a butt. Oh, they're making sure they're not going to be getting a higher rating on this one, huh? Even though, wait, <laughs> hang on, why? I mean, they got hyper-violence, so why not? No, boobies are more don't... scarring! Yeah, you know how don't... Americans are. <laughs> don't show yourself for this movie. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You can have R-rated <laughs> movies where you don't see a tit, but in Europe they have full frontal nudity and serial commercials. <laughs> 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 I 
That wasn't even yeah, shot as well as the original. Yeah, no, yeah that was pretty really, bad. Yeah. The blade's got to come out first before yeah. the glove does. Okay. Yeah, and the obnoxious sound along with it. Wait. Oh. Oh. That's what? Well, I, gu really? I guess the I guess right. the bath went well. It was just to set up. <laughs> okay, the that was for the, that was a key jangle just, right there. It was yeah. just for the key jangle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, dream world, I guess. No subtlety at all. Which is weird because this is the most subtle that they've done, sort of. I mean, the yeah. diner one was start. It was okay. No, the I most like subtle the they did one. was uh, blonde girl waking up in a dream. So is this movie designed for people that never saw the original? It I must be. <laughs> That's my assumption. I think it has. So I don't think like the, they're necessarily key jangles. It's just like they're just cribbing from the original. Oh, it could just be that they're right? bad. Yeah. yeah, that's just bad. Bad ham. Ham's cool. bad ham. Oh yeah, like the diner. That was that was some bad ham back there. I'm fine with the environment. I like the school one where it's all burnt up. It's just the how we transition to these places isn't very impressive at all. A little Nancy. I all grown up. You're not sexy. <laughs> Way too old. You don't remember. You're my. Father? <laughs> Father? Father? You smell different. You smell older. Oh, she was still in the bath. Okay. Nancy, you got to him, Jesse's dead. He died in his sleep. <laughs> um, is that what you call it? <laughs> with a red red washing down with a Red Bull, yeah. He's staying awake. The problem is he's he's almost out of money. He can't afford any more Red Bull. So that's the ticking that's the ticking clock. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we watched eh. the Simpsons parody after the first one? That was fun. That, that was, was fun. What was Willie's line before he charged at him with the tractor? When I'm done with you, they'll have to do a compost mortem. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. We're all here. Chris, Jesse, and Dean. You don't recognize yourselves if you've been going to school. <laughs> they all have their minds erased. <laughs> yeah, what Not the fuck? You would like you would know these people. You went to school and everything with them. What are you doing? I'm looking at the photos. You of have our some house, explaining Mom. to do, what are you Mom. Doing my, what are you doing in my secret drawer of secrets? You said that we didn't know each other, but we're all in this picture. We went to school together. Give me the picture. That's not an answer, bitch. Why would you lie to me? I didn't lie. It's I'm looking at the photograph, Stop Mother. It's right here. Why would you lie to me? Stop lying to I'm me. Not I'm lying lying to I am not Stop lying to you. I am not lying to you. I am not lying to you. I didn't want you to have to go through your life with this memory. So you what? My, forget preschool with him? Was he that shit of a kid? Well, he went to preschool with Freddy as a preschooler. <laughs> Zooming into the picture. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this photograph. Look at this graph. Look at this graph! At the preschool. I was ready. His name was Fred Krueger. He was a child he killer was, and a little rapist. He, was, he lived in the basement of the preschool. He lived in the basement of the preschool. <laughs> Wait, what? They allow him to live in the basement? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he was just destined to be a monster at this point. Oh look, hide and seek like he does in the nightmare sequences. Here I come. Ew. See, you know what? I got some other drawings. Uh oh. This could go in a number and of directions. Then started, and then we started to notice things. What uh, the fuck? He was okay. clawing up the children, hoping to just get away was, with it. He takes us to the secret cave. Secret cave. Okay, okay so, so Freddy was retarded. Movie. He just assumed he'd get yeah. away with it. <laughs> I just I thought I could, it. like, make big scars on the kids and send them home and hope that nothing happened. Yeah. Damn it. Foiled I, I again. I say it, but that's why you gotta kill him afterwards, Freddy. Jesus Christ! You know, like, like three of my friends died in their sleep, right? I hope that you're right. Okay, don't mention that. Never mind. I just feel like that conversation isn't close to being over. Like, three of my friends are dead. It doesn't make any sense. There's got to be more to it than this. It's not... This makes total sense, okay? You heard what your mom said. These are just fucked up memories. Three Yay! of our friends are dead. Three is a pattern. I want you to do four to warm up, then do a 200. Oh, so he's next, then. 400 lap? Okay, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to focus here. I need you to wake up and get into this. He's going to fall asleep while swimming. No way. <laughs> Relatable. Oh. She Sorry. put crosses on their faces. Upon. That seems a little distasteful for you to put X's yeah. on the photograph like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Can you not remember which ones have died? Like how scary. soon as they fall asleep, they instantly dream when it's like, doesn't dreams happen in a very specific portion of sleep? Yes. Uh, probably. I think so. 
I don't want to be too certain of exactly, you know, what's possible in terms of. Oh, he's just gonna yeah. grab him and drown oh, him. Oh, if he shit. just like was suddenly like in an ocean, like he he moves his head up to get air, and he's like in an ocean. Boring. Oh, oh okay. dang. So boring. Imagine yeah, the really. insanity. It was just something they wouldn't do. But imagine, you know, the the thing where they spun the room around with the blood and and imagine we spun the whole swimming pool <laughs> like the gymnasium thing. The whole room spun with water. Like this is Ugh. something. I just I don't know. It's so fucking typical. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah, they draw too much, like, getting pulled down is just totally unnecessary. He, he like, needs to bonk his head against the cement of the pool in the dream, and that kind of, like, he's in a different place. And you're telling me nobody's noticed he's asleep right now. Oh, so this Wait, is when no, they killed him. A... Why are you showing you him this, Freddy? That? Hey, I got diddled our kid. Get this nope, fucking weirdo. Right. Make sure you burn him so he becomes a cursed oh, he's, dream he's demon. saying my kid ain't fuckable? You say that to my face! Open the fucking door! So, interestingly, I don't think we've been given the context yet, but didn't the original film say that he was charged and then he was let off through, like, technicalities? Kind of technicality. and, yeah, technicality, which, mm -hmm. yeah. which gives you much more understanding of the parents doing what they did, but in this one they don't seem to have done that yet. Yeah, who knows? They might have just done this of their own accord. Which is like, wait, you so know, are they saying yeah, I can still buy it. Kids. I can buy it either yeah, way. I can yeah, buy it, yeah. So wait, are you say are they saying he's like less of a bastard now than he was before? Probably more so, because um, because he was like a murderer, but now he's all like, oh, I just mock kids and I'm a weirdo, you know. I'm assuming he killed them as well. No, 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 no. This isn't the right way. We've got it. We've and got what is the place. right way? Our kids get on the stand and have to tell a room full of people no, what happened no. tonight. Right, we've got to call the He's police. right. This is not the this way. This ends to tonight. Do. Evil ends tonight. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. What'd you bring me? <laughs> Oh, shit. If he killed them, I don't think they've set up the fact that there were lots of dead children before this. It was just that he was taking them to the secret cave. And, and, and scratching them, yeah. Scratching them. But even the last movie started out with him being like, yeah, I killed so many kids. Oh, maybe his son died? No, but maybe his son was scratched. I don't know. It's just scratched, right? Yeah, because yeah. his son's still alive. Yeah. He's currently dying. Wow, this doesn't look like a particularly flammable building. No, oh, this is lame. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lame, lame, lame. Didn't even need to see all of this. He just okay. Made okay. Fun loads. <laughs> Wouldn't want to start of, being subtle now. What was in there that are gonna be very Doesn't that make it like this, this kind of makes it like why would this have become a curse particular? Uh, why did you show him all that, Freddy? I don't know. You gotta know my story, my past. Just relax and breathe. Come on. Get your hands on me, coach. It's weird now. Oh, why, <laughs> why didn't you mark back. off the X's on the back? Exactly. Yeah. That would have made way more sense. Yeah. Mark Instead of having beyond. to look at the faces and then turn it around to double. Yeah, now she looks like a crazy person. That burn man with the striped sweater, he keeps trying to kill me. Oh, this movie's so lame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is draining me of my life energy. Still thinking about like the water not adhering to gravity and him getting pulled around the whole room. Thanks. Do you remember the shot in Mission Impossible Fallout? Uh, the guy in the is tied up in the truck and it goes over the edge and so starts filling with water and then it spins around or whatever and he's he's watching the yep. water move around the car and head toward him even though it's only half. It's like that shot is more creative than anything in this so far. Help me. Please. Dude, can you imagine doing a Twitch stream, you fall asleep, and then Freddy does one of the kills, and you're just like, Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, that's what that was supposed to be? Was, yeah. Was, oh my god, that sucks! <laughs> he smelled uh, himself. Stop. So then he uploaded it after that, right? <laughs> so then he Come uploaded on, it after that. Well, well Freddy did it for him. So, like, <laughs> so much work, and we can't let that video not go live. Freddy did it. Freddy, Freddy has a Twitch stream. We did not hunt him. We were protecting from what? From him. You can do. Oh, both. he doesn't know we what Freddy him did. Because we were protecting from what you kids told us. He we were hunted. five. We would have said anything. Wait, wow, you're defending the wow. fuck out of Freddy. The cave. Did you ever find it? No. Is no. I, I assumed that when Why they said cave, I just thought yeah, it was basement. basement. Killed an innocent man. 
Whoa, why are we? No Whoa. way. Freddy's Whoa. He didn't, Whoa. He didn't Whoa. go to trial that's with not, this. That's not a way to do that. If, so, if you killed wait. an innocent person, he would kill the people who killed him, yeah. not their kids. Yeah, so what, what makes you think Freddy man? is like a nice man? <laughs> like, what? So he's an innocent <laughs> man, in dies, season. now he likes killing people? But, but here's the thing, that would be a good twist on an old classic where he's hunting down the adults that wrongly killed him. Not their uh -huh. kids. Yeah. Like licking their faces and being like, you always wear the prettiest. <laughs> I like the around your life. Also, they couldn't have covered up Fred, uh, Fred, Freddy Krueger existed. <laughs> you can't, like the police would have to be in line with it, like when they did the cover up in the... Uh, Freddy vs. Jason. You like why would the police and you have, cover like, that the up? Police. You'd need the like the chief's yeah. kid as one of the kids is what you do, right? Even and then, though, he, he was a real person. He had a job, social security small number. Town, just say it happened in like a small town. And in... Nancy. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, the body bag. Oh. We. Not as effective. All the kids are scratched effect. on the back, though, right? It's, so does that mean that in this version, one of the other kids was you, doing? Wait, all of the you back did that scratching? backwards. Wait, it, wait. What? <laughs> no, and what you, no, 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 no. Uh, nice uh, little CGI it body bag for a second creepy. there. No, that was not how you were supposed to do that. It was a fucking that blueprint was... ready for you in the first one. You're having micro naps. We gotta go. You're, You're having mic micro naps. Shut up. You're having micro naps is not very like. I will say, uh, you know, Fring what Fring was saying earlier, the whole, like, they really have, there's no difference between sleeping and dreaming. No, as soon as it's you instantly, you just start dreaming. And, and that could be, like, something they could use to, like, survive but still remain tired. Like, I take, like, 20 or 10 minute naps or whatever, yeah. and it keeps me going just barely, but I could barely operate. Yeah, you'd have like, yeah, that exactly. veteran who's uh, escaped Freddy again and again and again, and that's what they have to live like, and they're a fucking, you know, mess at this point, but they're alive. What you? How come no one's like, no, don't sit here in the car, get out, yeah, walk get out. around, pace up and down the. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Fuck you, movie. Boring. <laughs> I, I don't have a. I don't have time to call a doctor. That's not what you say to the guy you're can trying you, to get drugs can off. You of. look more like a junkie. Yeah, please? exactly. Mm hmm. Then say, all right, do you have anything that will help keep me up? Some like something like I'm starting to. Or something, or... She's gonna burn herself to keep herself awake. M woman, just get outside, just get walk around, get outside and walk back and forth, like sing songs, put on your iPod. It's 2010. iPod. Do some scream. Look, I've been on this stuff since I was, I was 15. Right. You just oh, said I've been wow. on this stuff since I was 15. Why would you say that to the, <laughs> the pharmacist? What do you think he's gonna say? Yeah. Can you look? Oh, here we God, go. You want me to kill you? Not on your wrist. No, do some place people won't notice. You're a fucking idiot. I swear to God. Ow. There are ways to hurt yourself that don't give you Fuck fucking you. scars. Yeah, just smack. Just just tap yourself in the head with just a. Just get out anything. of the There you go. There you, there, you yeah, figured yeah, it out. Yeah. Good that job. Was your second choice? Do jumping jacks. <laughs> up and down jumping jack. Quentin! Or is she dreaming? If she's dreaming she's... and she burned herself yeah. for nothing, I'm going to laugh. Or is he dreaming? Or is he dreaming, right? Oh, he's the one. Yeah. Nice, I like it. So what did she it could dream be, it, that she burned herself? <laughs> Honestly, Are it could both be both dreaming? of them, either of them, or one of them, or neither of them. Floored by the oh, fact well, I guess it's her then. She burned herself man. for nothing then, yeah. Maybe yeah. she burnt herself in a dream, but then that means they did two fake outs. Okay, that looks okay. Just, that just, looks pretty good. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. It's just yeah. a bit boring. Back to the boiler oh, room. Yeah, it's like, there's yeah. the exploding. It looks bad when the sparks explode like that. It's really bad. <laughs> there's no subtlety at all. <laughs> just have them drag it along the pipe. Oh, they just make it sound all explodey. It's like, what the fuck, man? I mean, oh, it's a Michael Bay these... production. That's why there's so many sparks. There we go. I have you can take things from the dream to real life. I didn't diddle those kids, Nancy. I'm a good man, Nancy. <laughs> Tell them I all. I didn't diddle the kids. I wanted to, but I never what? got the chance. I'm innocent. Oh my god. You're bleeding. What is huh? happening? Wait, she's got the burn on her arm, so she did burn herself? For nothing. But yeah. no way, that would keep you up. Because that would hurt like fuck. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It would do the job. We were just saying that there were it better would. ways to it's do it. It's just like, yeah, that's like the last case scenario. Bro, that's stealing. <laughs> wow, stealing. <laughs> Uh, I know. Baby. Mom, Not this is your fault. Did you mom. kill a nice man? How could your mom know who did it? I know he didn't have blade arms when we killed him. I mean, 
keeps they me didn't up think about for a second that like they slashed their backs with like the right the razor gloves and he has a razor glove as freddy you could at least put two and two together and be like okay Mom, maybe he kills us guilty. in our dreams this might sting a bit she, look, she micro-dreamed again. Can I have a word with you in the hall? I like how the doctor is being completely reasonable and like calming down and then getting the mom and talking to the mom. Your daughter needs to be sedated, but I can't do anything without your authorization. Wait, how old is the daughter? She's gotta be under 18 then. Jeez. Great. Remember in yeah, Freddy vs. Like... Jason where they almost speed ran the law because they were like, we want to get it and move on? But it was still somehow like better. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You just put adrenaline, like you're, uh. Yeah, do you want to do like a hundred jumping jacks right now with me? You're right, yeah, you just used like all of it, right? He doesn't seem much more awake than he was. Will you talk to me and fall asleep? Don't drive in this universe. I don't should have just ran Driving's there. Boring. I want to go run. Let's run. Let's run there. Run. Just, well, run there they're more likely together. to fall asleep if they drive, but both in a funny way because of these movies, but also like a real way. Because I feel like any reasonable person is like, oh, I need to get home or I need to drive someplace and I'm feeling a little drowsy. So I'll turn on the radio. I'll roll down the windows, crank up that AC, put the top down on my The car, radio on max. Whatever it is, you know? Oh, micro dream. Dumb fuck. I like how you avoid Freddy as well. You're like, oh, I wouldn't want to hit him. Blame. Is it like the, the yeah, most predictable I think I can imagine is that he's gonna die, then she'll pull Freddy into the real world and then set him on fire, and then we think he's dead, but he's not. That's the way I expect this to go. Yeah, probably. Yeah. He just injected himself with a whole thing of ep epinephrine. And he's still like, he still like slept. I'm like, man, I feel like you, you should, should be just jittering, bouncing, bouncing around. Yeah, like, yeah. He, but no. Your heart should be going. going. This is it. Wait, so they just crashed right where they needed to be. Okay. Yep, nice. this is the school. Okay. <sighs> That's Thanks, fine. This is where Freddy did. Let's go find his cave. Ugh, is really? there going to be a reveal of like Freddy was a bad man? Like, I should hope so because making him innocent like, was retarded. I don't think the audience is in any position to believe he was a good man at all. No, especially <laughs> since he murders kids as his choice of things to because do in the afterlife. Because that's the scars. The scars on people. Is that just a random person who got away with it? <laughs> Someone oh, else kids. with oh, the yeah, fucking yeah. four claws was, was screwed up the kids. <laughs> Are you okay? My uh, what no. was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, if he shouted well, no over. at me, I would immediately have looked around and been like, oh shit, you know, but she just goes, Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Should we like sing a song or like be skipping there or? You know what you should you do? Know? It's like start counting, but back and like I say one, you say two, I say three, so that. We both know we're both, you know. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. The attempts to stay awake in this have never really been. It generally only goes as far as I will drink coffee. I okay. will. I have to stay awake. I'm gonna lay in my bed and watch shitty TV on low volume. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> you remember shit? It wasn't. If I sleep, the... I die. I'd better get in bed. Or I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take a warm yeah. bath instead of a, sh a cold shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta stay awake. I'm gonna get into bed and really think hard about not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Remember in Pulp Fiction when she gets stabbed with yes. adrenaline, and she freaks the fuck out, and he gets stabbed with adrenaline. He's like, "Ooh, wow, that that you know that Oof, really good. Yeah, wow. wow." Okay, he brought us here for a reason. Oh my god, they, oh, found, they his... found it! They found it here. This it is, is all just right here. here. Seriously? It, I Still. guess they the parents never found it. They never thought to look in the basement. In the, the school. school. School they know he lived there. He lived, they know oh. he lived here. Mm -hmm. This is where he and lived. You fuckers are so house. lame. He lived down in the basement. They called it the cave, and they never thought to check the basement. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't even realize this would be it, a reveal. Just, I thought house. it was what we were yeah. supposed to interpret. I thought when they said the cave, it was like, oh, right, the basement, of course. That's what nope. I assumed it was. That's what the kids But you never found the cave, did you? Therefore, he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That was, that was a bizarre fucking scene. Door. You killed an innocent man! And the thing is, the parents didn't have much of a response, and it's like, wait, did you guys actually burn the man to death under the assumption mm -hmm. he was doing stuff? So they never and, found this cave. Are they supposed oh, to this be is bodies? the cave cave. But like, all the kids came back, right? There weren't any missing kids, were there? No. No, he killed them all when they grew up. No. Which is still fucking weird. Why did you kill the kids? <laughs> if you can keep a secret, I'll take you to a special place. Especially now because we're revealing yeah. that the kids did not lie. Let's paint the bloody stick man. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Want to help me paint a satanic image? That was so. Legs? I love the, the cheerful, <laughs> the cheerful Funny nature of the way that was done. Is funny. Clown. Like if if they said no, he was like a Satan worshiper and he needed children's blood for his rituals. I'd be like, that makes more sense. Why are we wasting so much time about these revelations? He's still a dream demon trying to kill you. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh, Here comes the child porn. Great. I, 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 it was always the unspoken part, but I guess we're sp speaking it. I can't believe we're doing this. The reveal is he's actually a bad guy. What are those? It's you, naked, from a long time ago. But the parents never found this stuff, so the parents killed him without... Wait, all of her. He'd done this, right? Yeah, she was his favorite. Gross. No, I don't yeah. want to show you. Yeah, we don't need to see that film. No. That's fine. No. Oh no, he's actually evil. This, this is what I mean. I don't understand what the fuck they were thinking with this. <laughs> yeah. And I still, I'm still lost on whether or not the parents actually did kill him with zero evidence. Oh, wait, how does she not like remember this stuff, right? And the parents were like, "We didn't want you to remember," which makes me think that they like gave him forget me pills or. He's not after us because we lied. He's after us because we told the truth. He's after us because we told on him. Yeah, snitches get stitches, motherfucker. Well, that just makes him a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill those kids because they told their parents that I took incriminating. What the fuck to happened them. to the whole? He's just an evil son of a bitch, and he's like, I'm gonna punish you guys who burned me by yeah. killing your kids because I'm fucked up, and I also what a like killing waste kids. Of time. I know. It's like we knew he was bad. A revelation that Freddy Krueger is not a good guy. I can drag yeah, him into the, the, the real world. He kills people. He is the plan. I'll go to sleep. I'll grab him. You wake me up. But then they both go to sleep and he dies. And then she wakes herself up by grabbing him and setting her hand on fire like in the other movies. Thanks, movie, for telling me that the guy who kills kids <laughs> is bad. I needed hey, no, to know no, that. It's, it's the first thing that we highlighted. That you can't entertain him as a nice man because he's killing all of you. <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I can't let you go to sleep, you're not gonna wake up. I'm the only one who could do it, because I pulled off his sweater. Freddy may have killed is. three of my friends, but did you kill him unjustly? How is this gonna save her in the dream? That's a dream protector. It's symbolic rags, God. <laughs> no, it's gonna be something she uses in the dream to kill Freddy. Oh god, cuz Ed. You haven't earned this. Oh, who cares? Yeah. No. <laughs> You're way hotter now than you were in those photos. Remember, it's a meme in the first film that the guy stays awake, but he goes to sleep. He'll sleep, he'll mm -hmm. die, she'll bring Fred into real world, set on fire. That's gotta be it. But then he won't really be dead. It'll be the same thing. Well, we'll do the bait, like the original film, right? Yeah, It'll be exactly. everyone's happy, and then the, he goes, me, 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 because this franchise will never die. <laughs> or at least I guess it did, because we have 13 <laughs> yeah. years of No More Elm Street. Do something. I wonder if maybe? Robert England Is feels kind of chuffed. He's like, ha, ah, first one without me, and you, that's it. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this oh, guy's probably trying? already asleep or some shit. I guess he's trying to get some weaponry. How did you break that you off? That, that Damn. Easy. No, don't sit no, down, you sit down. down. No. Dumb fuck, dumb fuck, <laughs> dumb fuck, dumb fuck, dumb fuck. Dumb fuck. Are your friend. Water in the face. Adrenaline. So Walk around and tell yourself you? riddles. If you told me that one of them injected <laughs> themselves with a full tube of adrenaline, <laughs> I couldn't tell you which one it was. Oh We're no, look, me. see? Oh, oh no. That was so if you fast. you sleep, you die. And what did you do? I was so fucking... sat down. So, yeah, quick, riddles, go. Sure. I'm a tree with no leaves. I thought they'd at least do the fake out where she goes to sleep and we think she's dreaming, but it turns out he was asleep and he was dreaming. But it turns out he's just dreaming from the beginning. I ju yeah. I'm just so bored by the fact that the, the, this is the most fucking cookie cutter that could ever have been. <laughs> <laughs> they went super safe. They did the cookie cutter of the cookie cutter that's kind of bad. Yeah, I think I go that far. Oh, God, just kill him. Whatever. Ow! You can't save her! Okay. Tag, you're it. I thought they didn't want the one-liners. Yeah. Oh, is he dead or? Is I mean, he just well, they're dead? bad one-liners. Is, is he just? We dead? didn't want the good ones. <laughs> that could be a setup for he's gonna come and take the How bullet for sure? her later. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking no. Whatever. There needs to be, yeah, like, we should have stopped at Freddy versus this. Jason. What game do you want to play next? Fuck you. Ooh, sounds like fun. Oh, gross. It's not real. No, well, I mean, it's not real, but they are dead. 
Yeah, uh, you know. If you're gonna do yeah. these transitions, you have to play them like normal. Like in a dream, you're not super lucid, so you just accept that the scene is different, and now you're in a new place. And you there's no it. handle. Yeah, Damn it. Yeah, there's there's no YouTube sound effects. In <laughs> exactly. In a dream, you just go through a door, and now you're in. I'm a starting to different place. like be embarrassed on their behalf with it. In the editing software, they're like, we can't just let the film play the transition. We need a sound, otherwise people won't know. I mean, why wouldn't he just open Obviously, the door? Like, he, he knows every. It's the fucking dream dishes. world, you dumb bitch. Where he knows yeah, everything that's going on. <laughs> if he disappeared, then what did you see? He practically spawns in your head. Like, why would you think this is. <sighs> okay, do the meme I wanted in the last movie. Yeah, there it is. That wasn't even a good execution. What if it's music? <laughs> Dun 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 no, <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I don't like all the references to sex when he's like all about the kid. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah. You know what would be interesting is if in the dreams there was never any music. It was always completely diegetic. Well, that was lame. Yeah, that was no. lame. <laughs> <laughs> As a resolution to the blood hallway. Yeah. Not only that, but also the, was the that supposed to be referential thing. to the blood like? Fountain in the yeah, first I one? So. I, I guess. Because that's lame. Yeah. Also, I 100% agree with what you said, Rags. If we removed the fucking soundtrack from this film, it'd be way better. <laughs> this dress was always one of my favorites. Listen, Movie Monsters 101, don't make them rapey. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> uh. It has to be fun rapey. Not <laughs> 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 Your mouth says no. Uh. But your body says yes. Stop. She's I wearing a child's you. gown. Would you fucking <laughs> stop this shit? They have no new horror ideas also, or no new visual doing ideas. Oh, they just have to room. go as gross as possible. That sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Is the eye going to be on the thing? Nope. Ugh. Oh, that didn't look great. Oh, no. bad CGI goop. You gotta, you gotta, she's gotta be courageous. She's gotta stop fearing him. You gotta play by the rules. You have to learn the rules. You have to something. Stand up to him. <laughs> okay. Wake up, you idiot. See, he can come in at the 11th hour and do something. I can't believe he fell asleep instantly, that dumb fuck. Yeah. The fuck sat down in a nice comfy chair. <laughs> I had to keep you awake long enough, so when you finally slept, you'd never wake up again. That's like any sleep, right? Wake up, Nancy, wake up! Now you're trying this. But she should wake up from this, from being... Mm. Yeah, that should, by the rules, that, that like, should wake her up, for sure. Yeah, she doesn't have any, like, thing, she's not hypnotized. Oh, is he gonna or... use the second vial of, uh... Adrenaline or something. Did he get two? Wake up! You promised! You promised you'd wake up, you, up lol. Yeah, what there's are you waiting the second for one. Then? Why didn't he use he, that to stay awake? He took the other one while he was awake, so I don't know what he's waiting for here. Yeah, real world now. Quinn, get him! Quinn, get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're out. Bye-bye. <laughs> you suck. That would have pretty much as expected. It'd be funny if they just lose. You can tell Freddy's like, oh, you have I fucking three him. lives? What is this? <laughs> now why don't you just fucking die? <laughs> I've never seen a movie monster say that to a person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's because you're in my world now, bitch. Ooh. Boo. Uh, that was really shit. Dude, this movie is shit, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not yeah. a fan. Sucks. <laughs> well, that's yeah, it, huh? Finish the job. All the way, God. all the way, all the way. Oh, sure. they'll, they'll burn him, right? That's the thing to do. Oh, it's Quentin, you should be dead. Fuck off. <laughs> I guess he got stabbed in the shoulder. I guess, like, the shouldery kind of area? Flesh wound. Is, well, he's got... The is? blood loss at this point should be pretty intense. He got stabbed through with the four. You oh, missed. I'll throw it over there, I guess. You didn't even finish decapitating him. 
Decapitate <laughs> sure. him for I th well, wait, I don't think I don't think she killed him with the cut in the hand or the throat. I think he just died of cringe. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. It would make sense. Well, they burned him alive in real life, and that made him a dream demon. Now they're so burning him alive, alive in real life again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh no, the, the, the fireman saved him! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's just like Halloween kills! They, 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 <laughs> they drag him out, and he has one of those blankets. And <laughs> like, are you okay? It was carbon, carbon monoxide poisoning killed Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah. Then he becomes a spooky you. ghost. Instead. It's a silent killer. Yeah, we'll do some kind of thing where this guy is like, Wait, Freddy's gonna get me still, uh I'm surprised they never did the blood coming from the bed. Yeah. Yeah, they just, the uh, the closest they got was the blood hallway down onto the bed. And Which then was the shit. creepy sex that stuff. That transition, yeah. anyway. Which is lame, because the blood hallway was actually, like, the one good thing where I was like, Oh, oh I wish we did more really of that. Neat. With first, yeah. Especially making us think a thing is the way that it is, but without using any CG trickery, it's a different thing. Yeah, I mean, you need to, when you get people to make these movies about dreams and, like, a, a horror movie around dreams, you gotta get people who are just oozing with creativity and want to do really cool shit. But it feels like they're allergic to it. Hey, man. That mirror is awful big. <laughs> I know you're just trying to protect me. Thank you. Yep. Oh. Hey, look at that. <laughs> so we have a little bit of uh, the first movie where it dragged yeah. the bomb. All right, whatever. Wait, so they didn't right. do anything mm. by... Sorry, that, that's got to do something to him. That really... That sucked. No, Rex, no, it's, no. it's the classic of... He's dead. He's not. Oh. Crap. I mean, it's not as low as New Nightmare for me. <laughs> oh so, my god. New Nightmare is definitely... Oh my god, is what? this hot well, take? Hey, no, I, know. I'm, I'm, I, I, I was about to say, that's a cold take. Face. What do you mean? Well, it's a hot take by uh, general standards, right? Because Wes Craven's New Nightmare is considered one of the better ones. From general reception on the Wikipedia page, maybe, but like, what have you heard? I don't, I've never oh, heard... Well, I mean... I've never heard anything <laughs> about Wes Craven's New Nightmare, you know? I have <laughs> heard of Freddy vs. Jason, though. This could be the worst. I do think it's either this or Wes Craven's New Nightmare for worst. Because I wasn't like bored to tears by this one, but I was just cringing I was the whole way through. Cool. Um, I think yeah, the longer it was going on, the longer it was going on, the the lack of creativity was yeah. killing me. It, Wes it, Craven's it, New Nightmare at least had us an element of I had no clue where it was going to go next, no clue at all. And they <laughs> did have Rex. So I did. <laughs> Very different, I mean, but both pretty awful. Yeah, this so. felt like mm -hmm. a, just a, a shitty remake, which is what it is. You took something that already existed. You took the first movie and you made it lamer. <laughs> and I don't really, yeah. How did you do I, that? I, I, would I would take, yeah, I would take Nightmare. To be honest, I'm 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 not decided on that though. New Nightmare was fucking painfully boring. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> as I've said before, I think boring is like the worst thing that you could be as a movie. Yeah. Um, even a movie like if we're ranking these on like enjoyment for watching it, boring's the worst thing you could be. Well, I was gonna say like, I like, I feel like we all have to agree. Shit. New Nightmare's at the bottom for entertainment factor, surely. Yeah. 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 Well, do you want to? Are, are you marking this as like a hey, like a list here, or I guess yeah, I've, I've, been, got my, I've, I've got my folder open. I so suppose we can. We can do it because we hit the end of this wonderful adventure. We, a, we should do the yes. both of first do entertainment factor and second, I guess, film I don't quality. Even know. I was going yeah. basically off of entertainment factor from the start. Which kind of lands us, I think, from Freddy vs. Jason at number one. It is for me. Then, but wait, yeah. then number. Th huh? I don't know. Does anyone else disagree well, with that on yeah, entertainment factor? Some of us would like to participate in the ranking. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, it's okay. like I, I, we were number just kind of going by what some of our, you know, what we were talking about essentially at the end of each movie. So, but would you say number one, is Freddy vs. Jason? A, we can make an official yeah, EFAP we can do it now. movies ranking list, list for the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. All right. Yeah. So, so we take a vote and then just kind of tally each one yeah i or think start. we can do that yeah because i don't think we'll be too out of sync with each other well we can uh, have mm -hmm. a bit of a back and forth see if we can change anyone's yeah, minds you know so i'm assuming so, number one is freddy versus jason no mm -hmm. it's for me I, yeah. i'm gonna agree mm -hmm. with that so nope. cap you um, find uh, a nightmare on elm street 3 more entertaining than freddy versus jason yes okay 
I'm kind of torn between three and uh, eight as well. Mostly different, but not necessarily super different reasons. Uh, it's not even close for me. I really like three, but I'm far more like jazzed yeah. and engaged by Freddy vs. Jason. It's so much more fun. I think the story of I'll three has more rewatch value. I, yes, I mean, I liked three. I absolutely did. For me, it's number two. I'll also go with Freddy vs. Jason as the most entertaining very entertaining but i don't think i would get any more enjoyment out of it watching it again really the same way i might with dream warriors that's that's potentially true because i see what you mean i, I could um, i could buy that i don't know how much it sways the argument necessarily though um i was surprised at how like coherent the story was with freddy versus jason but i still think it pales in comparison to three that's where obviously i'm going to be picking three over freddy versus jason for quality um mm -hmm. I also thought the kills were better in three in terms of relating to the characters. Yeah, like they oh, that's a factor realized. that definitely boosts three above basically every other film. I um, think, yeah, so I think for me, those story aspects do contribute to the entertainment value for me. That's fair. If there are no objections, we can move on to what is our slot number three, which I right. think what's soon, might soon, potentially be contentious for what's, some of which, us. Which, what's your uh -huh. Um, so no, just I mean, three would be number, like number two would be three, oh, right? I don't think like yes. yeah, Freddy vs. Jason. Stop! There was a whole <laughs> other conversation happening there. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ! <laughs> yes, we did. Freddy vs. Jason is number one. Hello, Dream Warriors is number two, and <laughs> now we're moving. Somebody to mute him. Jesus, Lil Platoon, what do you have to say about the number one ranking for entertainment value? Um, I'm going to side with Cal. I'm going to go with three. I think it makes, like, for mm. entertainment as well as for quality. Because though I found Freddy vs. Jason really funny and entertainment, like, obviously that is a large part of it, I didn't really get the same sort of investment, particularly in the use of, like, the dream mechanics, if it's, which really kind of did devolve into Freddy and Jason kind of throwing each other around in something that's vaguely recognizable as a dreamscape, but without actually using very many kind of dream mechanics. And the I main agree. characters were, at, like, complete mm -hmm. ass. They didn't exist. So, like, it was fun to watch them fight, I just didn't really get that much out of it beyond it. I understand. Fair. Yeah, the other yeah, characters were pretty lame. On that. Oh shit! So, now the, it's balancing out a bit more. Oh boy. So what is that? Three votes for number three, to, three as three number one. Three to five, unless anyone three else is switching. All right. <laughs> nope. Well, I guess the, the boiled down the question is: Did you really give a shit what happened in Freddy vs. Jason? Yes. Like, does it actually yeah. matter who wins? I enjoyed the hell out of it, and I was hoping for particular payoffs, and I got a lot of them. Um, it's a different kind of animal in terms of filmmaking, where I'm, I'm enjoying the schlock, I think would be the word, right? And there's there's an art to it. You can do it badly. In fact, uh, I think we got a bit of that in the uh, in this series, like that same sort of intention, but done shit. So, um, you know, but the, I think even for the like the pure entertainment value of kills, three trumps uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Um, I don't know, like, the multiplier for me goes up just because of the fact that Jason's involved, and then we have the the clashing of those two. I even like the the nature of the both killing someone at the same time. I, I can't believe they managed to try and like justify it with writing too, that someone was trying to rape her, which counts as sex, and that's why Jason was triggered by them. And then she was unconscious because of drinking, which activated the corn raper, which is why she was dreaming. You know what I mean? Like, you've got, they're, they're yes. both doing their thing, and then they both clash. And like, what the fuck? This is my kill. This is my kill. And then Freddy being the puppet master, being like, I'm going to take this idiot out. And then it's uh, more complicated than he thought. I don't know. I, I have some level of appreciation for the, for the fact that they actually yes, took the effort to the write that. the type of movie it is, it's incredibly impressive, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The corn rapers being thrown through the air was very funny. I would very funny. That, but, um... I think there was plenty in the movie of stuff like that. The fact that Freddy got his thing caught in the real world, he was just like, oh, come on, trying to throw the thing at Jason. Like, that's funny as shit. The fact he was going to kill the two main characters, and then the, the girl is, like, making fun of him, but he looks at her, looks back at them, looks mm. at her, and he's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? And then gets roasted by it for a few minutes to just confuse him. Like this is these I'd, funny things. I'd add happen. the second character. I'm absolutely not proposing that this be a third list we do, but I would like if we had all the time in the world, separate out funniest from most entertaining. Okay. Well, I mean, well, entertaining I, is very subjective, and I think that's all the. That's why I'm not like saying like, no, Cap, you must understand that. But I'm like, no, that makes sense. What you're most entertained by is going to be down to you. 
Hmm. Yeah, and I don't think I was really rating like mine based on hilarity. I mean, sure, that's part of it, but at the same time, that's just entertainment value, really. It's like I'm not rating them from funniest to least funniest. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, I think then we can now. Popular consensus is that Freddy vs. Jason is the most entertaining. Is that right? It would seem so. It yes. would seem I think that that's way. What the votes are, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Which moves us to three, or oh, the rank three. Yeah, rank three as a number two. The or rather, third movie is number two, right? Dream yes. Warriors, yes, is yeah. number two. Okay. So uh, now, sorry. I think we landed, for number three, I think we landed on movie one. We haven't even well, discussed that. Well, well, the thing is, is that when it comes to entertainment value, I so, enjoyed the sixth one most yeah, out same. of what we have left. That's yep. true. That would be my vote I, for I, the entertainment I, factor. Yeah. I think, yeah, I have to, I think I might have yeah, to agree with that. I definitely, I definitely, oh I definitely enjoyed true. Freddy's Dead more than the first film. Yeah, so we're we're gonna we're gonna bump six up as number three. It was and always so a three. Entertainment? Yeah, I think it was yeah. always a three. Oh, to be yeah. fair to Daz, I don't think we had like a full on discussion about it after we finished six. No. Um, so the, I think okay. I had said after six that I enjoyed I it more than the did, first one. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think I think there may have been an assumption yeah. on the air that like six was super retarded, and but it's just like, well, it yeah, is. that's why it was yes. beautiful. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. Well, yeah, that that would explain it then. Experience. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're all in agreement that number three is six. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well then, where does where do we land on number four? Would it be one? One, it's probably, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say and so. then yeah. after that, I don't care anymore. I don't care about the <laughs> ranking. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's, it's I will, uh, with one amendment. The I don't care about the rest as long as Wes Craven's new nightmare is at the bottom. At the bottom. Uh, it's, it's at the bottom. Yeah, I guess what I would say is it's either that or the the remake uh, would be at the bottom. Like, at least I there were like some the things that were pretty more interesting. interesting. I think that there's a discussion yeah. there that should be able to be resolved. I don't. Uh, did, was anyone truly more entertained ultimately by Wes Craven's New Nightmare than the remake? God no, no. The, the remake actually had like a little bit going for it. it there were, there were like, things yeah, to appreciate. A couple of instances of things to appreciate. Whereas, damn, yeah, oh, <laughs> because I know that we're uh, thinking right now about all those lame ways that they represented Freddy in uh, the remake. But it's like, yeah, but Wes Craven's New Nightmare did that too. Like pretty much all of those did. things. And I just didn't find any of the meta stuff that it was going for even remotely worthwhile. Yeah, the writing yeah, was almost yeah. pretentiously yeah. frustrating while... Exactly. Yeah, whereas this one was just conventionally bad. It's yeah, this like one just lacked any movie. insight or creativity to the franchise. It was more so like Except a little kid a trying to... a couple of instances. A couple of instances, couple instances of like yeah. creativity. And Which, yeah. Extra uh, negative points for, for New Nightmare, though. New Nightmare has the writer-director in it explaining it, and it still doesn't yes. make sense. So <laughs> it goes even further down the list. All right, so I'm looking at... So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, and then after four... To clarify, it was number one is uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Two yeah. was three. Three yeah. was six. Yeah. Four mm -hmm. was one. Yeah. Yeah. So probably, well, something I want to propose I now, is that if we've sorted out the last two, the next one up from the bottom should probably be Dream Master. I fucking hated that one. Yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah. what I put on top of me as well. Yeah. Because that one shadow all over three and just that, killed the that, characters. Yeah. 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 That's what puts that one below. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, okay. yeah starting so off by killing the characters that I actually cared about and were in a good movie, three... Yeah, yeah, fuck you for doing that. Oh, that means and, we've, uh, and the kills weren't even. Like, I think we should have it at that point, right? The list. We have a definitive yeah. list. Yes. Yeah. So for it's entertainment uh, value. Jason. So from what I'm gathering, it's Freddy versus Jason as number one. Number two is three. Number three is six. Number four is one. Number five is two. Six is five. Uh, seven, seven is, is four. four. Yeah. Eight is nine, <laughs> and New Nightmare is last. Oh I my would God. Put, I would I personally put Dream Master below the reboot, I think. Interesting. That's a possibility. I, it, but I don't remember I, being as bored. Uh, I don't remember it. Oh uh, man, well, but the fact the retroactive honest. damage that it does to something that was good is something that's yeah. well, possible in the Yeah, because that's, that's a way to interpret the entertainment really. value is how much it pissed you off. Yeah, when you when you yeah. start off the movie by doing that in a way that's completely unnecessary and is just like it's just so shit to see that after like the high well, of it's three. Just, you know, if we if we t if we talk about continuity and canon, like four is bullshit. 
It's just bullshit mm-hmm. in, a, in yeah. a way that in a way that the remake can't be because it is different continuity. Yeah, it's so mm-hmm. remind me, is four the one where she just it's like, on the, the, the fire mirror, pits. but she uses a mirror to kill him at the end. Oh or, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. Was awful. The yeah. Entertainment yeah. value though, a dog pissing fire is really good. <laughs> um, I mean, that's like I don't know. Like, so I want to. Like, that made me giggle for the visual, but then I'm like, I was going to say, in, is this what we're doing? In a different <laughs> context, we probably could have found that incredibly entertaining, but coming off of three, which finally like managed to kind of nail it, and then it's like a dog pissing fire on him, but it's like, ah, oh, fuck you. Why'd you do that? <laughs> I'd agree yeah. with that, but like, I, I, uh, I don't know if I found it less entertaining because of that. It was just once you got over the fact that, okay, this is no longer even trying to be a quality film, then it's just, oh my God, how hilariously can they fuck up the one good thing they have? I don't remember it, and then it being became funnier. Like hilariously, I feel it like that's what I. Six has the yeah. insane, retarded, funny. While uh, yeah. Dream Master felt more like the retardation is really sad. Yeah. Yep. And I'd agree with that. Like yeah. Kincaid just getting killed randomly. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, that was <laughs> like, so is that what we're man. doing? Oh, that is what we're doing. Okay. This is. Stab. Oh, wow. That's it. That's it for that um, guy. Just stab. The problem with five and two is that I legitimately remember very little about five to the point yeah. where I might need like help. <laughs> with the dream child, five. yeah, that was. The one with the weird two, baby at the end. Well, that's what we learned. He was well. the rape baby of a hundred prisoners or whatever, right? That was yeah, the and we then learned like, that all right, yeah. <laughs> so we that got the protag it. from four throwing a Hadouken into the other gal who now gets the power to absorb her friends. Oh, oh that was God, a party, yeah. wasn't it? That was the pool party. <laughs> pool party was two. Pool party was two. We were for something after that we were like oh <laughs> i think i think i'd put two above five then me i agree i think yeah. two i did that too yes as interest at least in the gay angle there was, we just started was getting uh, really funny at the end there was a lot of you nice know? gay stuff in there yeah did we come to a conclusion as a group whether the reboot or four is more entertaining I think the reboot is more entertaining than Dream Master. The problem for Dream Master uh, is that I think it's probably more creative. However, it pisses me off a lot more. I'm not that I, interested in fighting on anything. I'm chill with it. Or, <laughs> at the top three, <laughs> and Wes Craven's at the fucking bottom where it belongs. <laughs> so yeah. kind of, I don't really care about five through eight really at all well because i'm much. i'm still curious to see our disagreements possibly on um the quality listing so i'm willing to just concede this one as yeah this seems sure. to be about yeah, right we can do that what should we Dream do for five it's yeah. one two three four who gives a fuck that's the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of, pretty much kind yeah of. i mean i'm down for saving time that way Oh, sorry, no. one, two, three, four. Who gives a fuck? Where's Craven's nightmare? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah I'm not. Yeah, Many, I'm many just of us here are particularly determined to make sure that that one's at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So quality, we're doing top four, and then just making sure that Wes think, Craven's new nightmare is last. Yeah, I'm just That's leaving all. it there. Quality, the I think, I I think the interesting it. one is with quality is that I think I agree that three is. Better than Freddy versus Jason in terms of yeah yeah uh, yeah that's easy for me I think I agree yeah I agree yeah. I think, yeah. you if you disagreed honestly there's much more to praise uh, in in story the script with more of a realization of the concept of this series so yeah it's got yeah. 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 really great special yeah. effects takes advantage fully of the format yeah. I think it perfected the format it was basically done after that you yeah. nailed it and um, mm-hmm. the best stuff of Freddy versus Jason is mostly in three there's a couple of more like goofy fun things that three didn't quite do but it shouldn't be doing it's not it's uh, mm. Prerogative. So yeah. But the thing is, is, I'm happy to put Freddy versus Jason as number two on the quality. It, yeah, I, I'm fine I, with I that. Think you know? it. Think it, it is. is. Yeah, um, I'm fine with that. I think it is. Yep. Um, All right. What would, what would rival it? What was the actual narrative in there? Uh, the, the problem is, like, I feel like there's got to be some kind of conversation about the first one, but, like, even then, I still think Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> I, I think, think yeah. so. Um, I think Freddy so, too, honestly. Jason cared about trying to, like, explain things and give, like, a reason for stuff, which instantly, just the attempt at doing that. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say, I was impressed with Freddy vs. Jason's script. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. uh, oh my God. It's amazing, relative really. To, relative to the other uh, Elm Street. <laughs> yeah. And the issue here now is once we have, we've got our number one and number two, the three through eight numbers, these are movies where I feel like I it's going to be really difficult to rate some of these objectively well, so because one, we I legitimately one am having three? difficulty. Sorry, Maybe we can find some a lot obvious of ones here and there. I don't know. It's like I think six is a complete disastrous mess of Dodd sets. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I would right. kind. Of, I'd be fine with putting like one on three. Issue. I I feel like 
if we put one as number three, it's like we're sorting out, like, we're ranking, like, nonsense levels. Kinda. Uh, if another like, way of putting it is, like, how coherent some of these are, it starts to get pretty difficult. Yeah. It does. I would say that the first one is noticeably more coherent than, like, four, five, and six. Yeah, I think, I, I, I think it's it, a cut above I them. think so, too, yeah. Yeah. So I'd have to fell it apart toward the, the end. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine with it, that. It, it has a lot of problems. I don't actually think number one is a very good movie. I guess it's coherent. It has a sort of simplicity to it. The space between number two and number three, I think, is actually quite big. We have our top two, yeah. and then there's a pretty big gap quality wise <laughs> yeah. after that. So I'm, yeah, so right now, Dream Warriors is number one. Freddy vs. Chase is number two. A Nightmare on Elm Street's number three. Wes Craven's number, number fucking nine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Four, five, Wait, was six, that, seven, eight. Is that agreed upon? Uh, is I didn't it? catch yeah, that I, or not. Because I think it's Wes the Craven's? only real contender. So like the lowest quality out of all the films in the franchise. Is anyone, what, what should take that slot? I don't know that New Nightmare is in any way coherent. The no. writing's bad, the acting is atrocious, the I effects think even, suck. I think it probably it folds feels, in on itself like Calamity style if you start to really dig into all of what seem to be the rules. Especially because the meta stuff doesn't work. Actually, it's, it's not, not at just all. It's pretentious and that it kind of undermines what worked about the originals. It's just, it, it actually it just, doesn't make sense itself. It just feels like nothing works and it's boring to boot. Yeah. yeah and the kid was like fucking annoying. Um, <laughs> the Freddy makeup was the was worst it's ever been. And, and I did yeah, not like Freddy the Freddy makeup. Yeah. Oh, and they didn't utilize Freddy or Robert England, like both of the characters, so to speak. I might put Dream Master beneath New Nightmare on the quality list. Just because oh New Nightmare, yeah, nothing in New Nightmare works because it, mm -hmm. it's boring, it's tedious, nothing happens. You can't really make sense of the lore of the thing, the mechanics of the thing aren't really existent. But it's but not it in the same continuity, so it's not fucking everything else up. And it's not shitting mm. on everything that came before because it's see not what part of the continuous story. Mm. Little Platoon, what's the worst part of Dream Master that would edge it out? I mean, I would have thought the worst part of Dream Master is the beginning. Starting when off by they kill all, all the of the main characters, then they ditch the entire mechanic of the previous film. Mm -hmm. Then they just invent a load of new crap, which will be used once and once only surely, and um, never seen again. Surely the big, the biggest possible fuck up I'd say for e Dream Master is going to be between how they resurrect Freddy and ignore the previous film entirely, or how they take what is probably the main character of the previous film in terms of the one that was fighting Freddy and just move all of her powers over to a different character. Right. Yeah, she's just like, I give you my power. And it's like, uh, okay, okay uh, is that a thing? We, we do that? Is that a thing? Are you dead now? Are you okay? They just like, the, the whole mirror bullshit as a lame excuse. Yeah. And they kill him at the end. Yeah. I'm actually. Was, hmm. Did Dream Master have Dream it? Dream Master at the bottom for those reasons. Did Dream Master have like the one unique... where all the kids were dead? Oh, do you mean like all of the Elm Street kids had died at that point? I yeah. Think so. And all the adults are going crazy over it. That is what happened in six. Yeah. Six. Oh no, you're talking is about six. six. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Six is the wacky oh. movie, yeah. Oh. Six is the so one where the town we're, uh, crazy. We're quickly yeah. discovering several people could, t several people, several of these films could take the lowest slot, but it would be for very mm. different reasons. So are we going for Dream Master being at the very bottom? Because I'm okay with that. I don't know if I can. Um... Agreed I'm not sure how I feel that. about it because, like, honestly, Probably. in my head, I'm fighting with even the reboot, New Nightmare, and Six being these <laughs> fucking chaotic messes. All of them are. I'd also add that two completely abandons whether Freddy can only kill people in dreams or not. Oh yeah, just pop out of the kid that oh, you. That's got yeah, and it never explains how the the characters <laughs> like, who died at the end of the first film somehow are not dead now, or he's like, did Freddy get them or not? <laughs> Oh, it's like he he feels really not. good. Party, who How? Are all who knows? Well, and don't forget, two introduced gay. So I don't know if that's uh, that's a retcon <laughs> or not. Two <laughs> no, two it invented gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just think the right. idea that he doesn't even need to be in dreams to slaughter teenagers is kind of like, what are we even doing at this point? I think that's yeah. that's a major well, problem with two. It was it was weird maybe that they abandoned the dream so fast. The pool party seems so, so we, fucking wild. So maybe we should go down the list and say which one we think is at the bottom. Yeah, we could do a vote, vote way, I guess. We're, we're, we're like qualifying which is the shittiest. It okay, was, and it's the worst film yeah. we're doing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, the, so Dream Master is the worst, I would say. Okay, capital I O. I think Wes Craven's A New Nightmare is the worst in quality. I think I agree. Yeah, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I think I've got that worst. Yeah, New Nightmare for me. Uh, the reboot <laughs> is the worst for
The reboot, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so interesting to look at them, but my instincts, I gotta go with them. Wes Craven's new nightmare. I hated that fucking film. Oh, it sucked. It's it so, so boring. Bad. So yep. boring. I, I'll go. I'm going with that one too. The new <laughs> K- nightmare. <laughs> I'm going with Dream Master. All right. All right. So that's okay, two sorry. for Dream Master. So that's Craven. Okay. Yeah. Well then, Craven I mean, is if that's if that's nine. the ranking, then I guess we've figured it out, right? That means that Dream Master will be number eight. Not yeah. necessarily because uh, now it's now between we have to judge Dream, Dream Master. Master and the oh, reboot. I want to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't go to bed. No sleeping. If I, uh, you sleep, you die. If you must leave, oh, yeah. you go right ahead. But I'm interested in the conversation. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're it. No, you fool. <laughs> I think I would just put forward the argument that Dream Master has to be worse than the, the, the reboot? reboot in terms of the destruction of continuity. Mm. Frankly, I'm okay with that. I think that's I would, a I pretty rock agree. solid argument. Yeah. Um, the, what I would give to the reboot is that it's lame, not totally incoherent. You know, it's, yes, it's just the first yeah, one, but yeah. worse. There's, there's it's, elements it's, of incoherency, but Dream Master was like absolutely. I like how we're not entertaining it's Dream Child because that's a goofy <laughs> fucking movie. But we're like, no, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, it anyways. You're, not, you're just bland. It's fine. You didn't Dream piss Child, me off, but you didn't make me happy. It either. just feels like the part two of Dream Master, as in like it's, the the problems of it are inherited. It you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like if um, you're waiting entirely enough. for continuity, though, then actually Dream Child is probably second worst on the list because the main character is the same main character in both films, and yet is an entirely different character who's forgotten absolutely everything that happened in the previous one. So if the, if continuity were the only thing, I'd probably rank Dream Child second worst, but it's not the only thing. So mm-hmm. that's true. Well, to be but fair, this apps, franchise has like the whole franchise has wonky There's continuity. Basically, it's like, no continuity. <laughs> yeah. follow didn't anything. even start with any. Yeah, it well, sometimes so, flirts with the concept. I was looking of at the continuity. the wiki for Freddy vs. Jason. Apparently, one of the comments of criticism that came from I don't know if it was Rotten Tomatoes or somewhere else, but that um, it was like this: the, the the director tried to create continuity from Freddy Goes to Hell as well as the recent like Elm Street movie to try and bring them both in like a reasonable, logical way. Like, like that's a criticism. I was like, holy oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like no, what's logic? Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> I would say that in terms of continuity, there's there's character continuity. There there's lore. There's all sorts of dream mechanics and stuff like that. You could they say all thematic continuity dream. as well, right? Like yeah, there's all of that. And so I, I I have a hard time imagining that the dream child is the worst one in that regard, or second worst even. Well, well, before we get ahead of ourselves, I think because we're working backwards at this mm-hmm. point. Nobody uh, which is fine, here seems which to is be fine. entertaining so, number six as the possibility for one of the worst as well. It even was, though it may be uh, should Probably be. should, though. That, that film is that nuts. That's a, a fucking mess of a movie. That's what Platoon was saying. He, he I, would put, I would put six as worse than the reboot, I think. Yeah, I would put six as worse than the uh, reboot. Yes, I That's would probably fair, well. I think. Um, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So... I can see that. Um, mm, okay, wait, then... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Now we're working. Number uh, nine, the worstest, Wes Craven. Right. Yep. Yeah. Number eight, worstest, Dream Master. It mm-hmm. sounds seven, like seven. Yeah. yeah. Number seven, worstest. Are we going with the Final Nightmare, the uh, sixth movie? I mean, that would be oh, six. Yeah. I feel like it. I feel yeah. like it really should be. Like yeah. that film. As much as I enjoyed it, was to go so with. sad. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, but I, I yeah. agree. It was super entertaining to watch. It brought me so much joy. But that <laughs> was like it was actually what what its greatest strength was in terms of entertainment is its Achilles heel <laughs> in terms of its actual quality. Um, so I so I I would put number six, the final nightmare, as the seventh worst. I or I the agree. seventh best, All right. I guess, UK. And then I would put just Dream above child? that the. Dream Man, this reboot is crawling upwards. Yeah, I was about to say, look <laughs> at this, look at this reboot, just climbing the steps I'm, there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, because fuck Dream Child. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm more disappointed at the reboot than I'm angry at it. Yeah, it is disappointing. Sense. It's lame. It's a reboot. Was like I said, really it's, it's lame. creatively kind of bankrupt. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's afraid to. It's afraid to be itself. Afraid to be well, different. You, I, I'm. I am so like. I don't remember anything of the Dream Child. Can you give? I like, don't blame Remind you. me what the worst part is. That's a difficult question. The worst <laughs> aspect. What comes to mind when you want to put it towards the bottom? Like I don't just, even remember what happens. In it's it kind of all of it. 
really. Dream but... Child was the one where she starts absorbing her friends when they die. Um, and taking photos and, off the mirror, right? And then uh, becoming... Yeah. She, or is that well, Dream yeah, Master? Yeah, like, fuck no, it in. That's Dream Master. Yeah, that's Dream Master. Yeah, Dream Master. Okay. Child is the one where she, she's pregnant and Freddy is feeding the fetus souls Oh my somehow? god, yes it is. Oh, that's right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Dude, that's and the one the that I think the director ended up saying was shit after he had made yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the end has that whole weird trippy stuff wrong. with like the multiple camera angles and the multiple different like uh frames of reference and the, the kid who can't act and and then so, it's just a huge MC trip. Asher world I think I reason. would just uh I would just say the remake is gonna end up being higher than I think we would expect on this list. Rags yeah. already it's said it's, that. It's at like number five, right? Right in the middle. Uh, I uh, dude, it might be, it might be like four, really. Um, it might be. I, like I got to think about one, the well, second no. one. You know, that I think we're just starting to realize this why it's important to separate these things out. We felt yeah. very bad for the yeah. reboot, like, but then when you like really consider it as a film, it's like it's pretty coherent, I guess. Because it's I, qualitatively I, almost exactly the same as the first film. It's not just a reboot; it's a complete redoing of the first one. So, like, most of the flaws are going to be present in the first one. Most of the the good aspects, actually, you know, it has fewer good aspects than the original did. Yeah, and it does, does but, similar things. But in just terms worse. of basic plot coherency, yeah, it's the same film, just not quite as new. Um, Which why so it shouldn't it surprise us. It would be unnatural to yeah. see it ranked basically either alongside or immediately beneath it. Mm-hmm. That makes I'd sense. Be, I mean, I'd be okay with putting that at four. Uh, yeah, then, well, I was about to say, I think the list is complete. Second movie at five. Think, All right, yeah, so from top to bottom. Dream Warriors is number one. Freddy vs. Chase is, in, is number two. A Nightmare on Elm Street is number three. A Nightmare on Elm Street reboot is somehow number four. Uh, <laughs> Freddy's Revenge is number five. The Dream Child is number six. The Final Nightmare is number seven. Dream Master is number eight. And Wes Craven's A New Nightmare is number nine. I'm glad we could all agree on that last one. How do we <laughs> how do we feel okay. about this list? Does anyone have, have a, believe have any of these question. should be flipped or reversed or I don't have strong feelings about it, but okay, is, is there anything in the dream child that is as bad as the fact that Freddy can just boop into the real world and kill a bunch of kids? It doesn't even need to be in a dream anymore, as is happens in the second one. In Freddy's Revenge? Correct. Freddy's Revenge oh uh, no, the Dream Child was just <sighs> It's like, what's to remember? You know what I think about when I think of Dream Child is um, wacky inflatable arm flailing tube, man. (laughs) <laughs> just, 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 I don't know. This is this all kind. Of, remember when he was like uh, getting pulled I, by the spirits of flesh that were attached to his body into like yeah, whatever the just, hell that meant. Yeah, yeah, like I think that was the only thing that I really remember is like the kid just shoots heads out of his mouth and they impale Freddy and then he's just screaming and because I think um, number two and five is that I remember so little about them. Well, I want yeah. to to, to push two up a little bit. I want to defend the uh, and this is something I think you brought up, Cap. At the time was that it's kind of an interesting idea that freddy wants to get to the real world or at least experience more of it through a subject and that throughout the first like was it the first half or maybe the middle chunk he's like first half, tortured first sort half. of with freddy gradually coming through him and then you have the the probably the best sort of special effect in the whole movie where he bursts through him um mm-hmm. yes like there's i think we're supposed to buy somehow that he somehow gets into being able to affect the real world by doing that not good, uh, but it's, I guess, more coherent than nothing builds, at all. Yeah, it builds up the idea that he needs someone as like a conduit or as a dreamer, as a person to. It wasn't wasn't main. They don't really play much with sleepwalking and uh, as as much as you think they. Oh, would they the did a whole bunch in West Craven's a new nightmare. Oh boy, they sure did have that sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I'm totally fine with this list and don't want to fight yeah. about any of mm-hmm. the middle ones. But I do. I feel so I, I'm so apathetic about like two and five in particular to the point where I remember so little of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think it, it's one of those kinds of series where you remember the bookends. You remember you know the top three and the bottom three, and then the three in the middle are just like they float around. I remember the reboot a lot just because I watched it a second ago. And I think that it is weird how it just sort of seems to have crept upwards. 
<laughs> that was really unusual, but I think I'm I'm good with this list. Yeah, yeah the, the I, only I, one I'd like, quibble I, with is is eight nine. I'd put Dream Master beneath it, but that's because like this time next year, if you say tell me what happens in Wes Craven's and New Nightmare, <laughs> mm-hmm. or tell me what, tell me what you think of it, I wouldn't have an answer. And if you said tell oh, me what you think of Dream Master, I'd say yeah. I fucking hate that film, and I remember what it did. So <laughs> I put that as nine, but it's a completely subjective measure. It makes sense. So that four was. Flaming Piss Resurrection, right? Yeah, which kind of sums up the reason okay, that film's that, so that, that notched it up just slightly. Just slightly above New Nightmare. That's, that's the only no, thing I that saved it Flaming just Piss slightly. Is a bad thing. No, that notches I, it down yeah, the, for the me. The Flaming Piss is bad. It's it, Yeah, that's bad for me. Um, a New Nightmare talking, was just like fucked up through and through. The only, it was, so what notches Dream Master to be meta. above New Nightmare for me is the fact that it did have, you know, like... This girl doesn't like bugs. Oh, she's a bug. It's like, wow, okay. Well, yeah, Golf she, clap. Yeah, but, you know. time. yeah, it's it's literally like it the the bar is so low yeah. at this point to get above Wes Craven that her seeing a bug and going, ah, oh, I hate bugs. And, and that's literally it. Means that her <laughs> getting bug arms and getting squashed in the Roach Motel is just like that's coherent. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. so low of a bar, but it is technically coherent. Which means it's better than Wes Craven's A New Nightmare. I, I would like to, in future, think of A Nightmare on Elm Street at its best being the third film. What a cool idea, executed pretty well, and that uh, maybe leave the franchise alone. And then also, you know, honorary mention of just, well, Freddy vs. Jason, probably one of the best stupid sort of fan battle films I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, good for you, that you managed to make that so funny and stupid and, and mm-hmm. you know. Sort of and you still even satisfying. tried with the writing. I I dig it. Yep. If They're you entertain me, I could never walk away mad. I will say that. Um, yeah. But what a... It's so weird. Like, when we started off with number... Um, whichever one it was, that kind of started with a highlight reel. It was Freddy vs. Jason that started off with, a, like, a little mini highlight reel of the series. Yeah. As I said at the time... You might be fooled into thinking that these nine movies, or I guess at the time, eight movies was not mostly shit um, by playing <laughs> just the highlights of some of the moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, going into the series knowing basically nothing about Nightmare on Elm Street other than Freddy Krueger is a guy who kills you in your dreams, and that's all I know about it. I was really disappointed for huge swaths of this um, Oh, yeah, that's probably uh, worth this series. talking about. Um, I'd only seen the first one. Um, what a disappointing mess. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, I might be... F- foolish enough to have said something like i was expecting you know three's level of quality but for most of them at least somewhat um what i would say is i very much enjoyed final destination and saw more than this series i enjoyed <laughs> final destination the most i think of the yeah final series. destination is the one that i like Ooh, that's most. a that would be the ultimate uh, question then, one... isn't it if there's a new saw final destination resident evil from paul ws addison or, oh evil. my god or one of these uh, what would you want? I guess I, I think, actually I think would rank Resident Evil as my most uh, entertaining for me. Um, I enjoyed that the most. So there, I find that question interesting because even though I like Final Destination the most, I'm okay with it. Like I'm okay with never getting another one again. Whereas I'd really like more Saw movies. Well, so the funny <laughs> thing is, is it, in I the hope world, I never see Saw ever again. See Saw. <laughs> In the world we in the world we live in, if all of them got a sequel, I think Saw's the most likely to be the best one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. It, well, yeah. I think I, the reason for that is that Saw Ten was actually like an upturn in quality. Yeah, you know, uh, like oh, they like yeah, find yeah. they like yeah. they yeah. understand Kevin Gruda, the right? Like he idea. he does seem to understand what Saw fans want, which gets you real well, close. Like, <laughs> even yeah. before he captures everyone, like at the clinic and everything, that's like an actual plot for like it was. a real movie. It was an actual movie, mm-hmm. yeah. Here's, like an actual question. movie. Let's, uh, hypothetical creator, but we'll just say Mike Flanagan, if he got to work with any Elm one Street. of these... Yeah? Yeah, Elm yeah. Street. Elm Street. Absolutely well. Elm Street. Yeah. What he could do with that would, could be amazing. Well, sorry, I guess the implication I'm making there is that the absolute height that you think The be best of all be. four of them? Probably Elm Street yeah. for me. Probably. Okay. I mean, the mm-hmm. cut, yeah, if we look at each of these series as, like, on paper, what its concept is, the idea of a guy, of a cheeky killer guy, who can only kill you in your dreams, and that's how he gets to you, you can do so much with that. Um, Absolutely. Resident Great Evil concept. is just silly goof. I mean, yeah, you could be serious with it, but, like, I I, I don't I don't want it to be serious, kind of. Um... um 
I think what a... I would say about Final Destination is that I don't feel like the first movie is really that far off from what I like about, like, you know what I mean? I, I, I yeah, I think like the first, first one was movie. like, yeah, the the first Final Destination movie kind of it takes its premise seriously. Yeah, I, I like it could be better for sure, but like not dramatically better. Whereas I feel like even three here, you know, it could be dramatically better. Okay, all right, well, all I right. Think, I think the first Final opinion. Destination sucks. <laughs> I no, no, I don't. Suck. I, I, no, I don't, it, I don't think it. Sucks. We haven't got time to talk about Final Destination. We don't need to read. Yeah, we don't need to read. No, I, I we guess just the watch this. Is These that, movies um, suck. Like <gasps> yeah. Source Six. I really like Source Six, and that's Source getting close to yeah, what I would like want out of yeah. the Source series. But yes, I think I agree that like Nightmare on Elm Street, but by Flanagan, sounds pretty amazing. If you have someone who you need to get someone to do. A Nightmare on Elm Street, who is willing to be super creative, but restrained when it comes yeah. to the dream stuff. Yes. Because I yeah. feel like through so much of these, like basically every every one, essentially, I feel like we don't... Like, guys, y'all dream, right? You know what dreams are like. <laughs> Why can't you do that sort of... Like, There's way too that, much like, content in, the, in media that does dreams really shit. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, I, actually, I, that makes me wonder, and it makes me kind of curious. Are you aware of a movie called What Dreams May Come? I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Oh, yeah, I would be curious that. to see that now, because it's about, like, going into dreams, sort of. And, like, kind of like Heaven Hell stuff that maybe I, I want to refresh myself on now that we've seen this. Mm -hmm. But, um, just, you know, for imagery and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, I... You could do so much interesting stuff with dreams. Waking up from dreams. Is the character dreaming or not? We, alongside with the character, don't know if we're in a dream, maybe, at first. Well, Leaving rag, subtle hints. Rags, a man can dream, okay? A man can Ew. dream, that's <laughs> right. Uh, and with uh, that, that's the end. Yeah! That is the end. We did it! Whoa. A Nightmare on Elm Street. The well, and, and, and it feels saga. more, like I said, it feels more like a definitive end, because, like, 13 years, no new one, and I don't think there's yeah. anything on the horizon for Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, maybe. Who knows, you know? Well, maybe in many that, years, but, at least, like, Final Destination and Saw well, both like Indiana Jones. have things in the works. Uh, Resident yeah, Evil, of course, always has things in the works. <laughs> I'm sure someone, somewhere along the line, someone's going to piss on his grave and set it on fire. And the thing, though, they, uh, they've they probably lost doing it with... Because that's something we didn't really talk about a lot in conclusion, was the uh, Robert England versus the new oh, Freddy, yeah. which I just... I didn't... I didn't I What's the point of even drawing the comparison? Robert England... Robert like, England, particularly in Freddy and role. Jason, was just like A-tier killer guy. Yeah. I, I loved yeah. him in that. It was great. What a he, great villain. Yeah, Freddy is Freddy because of him. Uh, so exactly. it's really difficult to recast that. He's mm -hmm. like Palpatine. Like he, he clearly enjoys being evil, and that's what makes him kind of compelling yeah. and funny. Yeah. yeah. And then you, well, and you get those with little... something with a, like a facial makeup, which doesn't even allow him to make facial expressions. And it's, there is no comparison. Yeah, he looked a bit shape. paralyzed, the new one. Yeah. yeah, he did. He looks like his face got actually burnt. And that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's an underwhelming series, and to be honest with you, it's like, would you recommend it? It's like, recommend a series? No. No. no I would not I recommend, recommend a series. Individual films, and by that I mean two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say three, and then Freddy versus Jason, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You can Does skip it impact the, rest. the score for Freddy versus Jason in any way? That if somebody watched that, that was their first exposure to it, and they saw the recap and thought, this actually might be a good franchise. Oh, no. And then they ended up going and seeing the Dream Child or Dream Master, and then their lives are ruined for the next 90 minutes. <laughs> Do you remember the, the score in any way? Wasn't it the end of Freddy's <laughs> Dead? They did that montage that was really long as well of all like this past stuff. Or, uh, I can't remember. Was it in the credits? And it oh, ended yeah. with, like, he's dead or some shit. I don't know. Like, R.I.P. Remember that? R.I.P. Freddy. Yeah. All oh, right. Yes, it did. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. What a wild I ride! Just, I've already. Just... I just wanna. I just wanna give Freddy versus Jason a little pat on the back for knowing or seeming to understand that the third one is the best one, and that's the one it should rip off. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seemed to reference it the most, which is kind of neat. And remember, well, was, in, mm -hmm. in, like, in a new I... nightmare, uh, one and three were the main references. Three's got the. Uh, three seems to be recognized, and it remembered the most. And like, like I said, when people describe Elm Street, it seems like they're describing three. Not at all the others. And um, as strange as it is to say, Freddy vs. Jason was quite respectful. 
of the series. <laughs> it the, was. Both the series. Like, we got the backstory of Jason and Freddy. We got them both fighting each other. Jason got to do all his killing. Freddy got to do all his spooking and hamming it around. There's no way that you... Like, I understand why that made so much money. And I'm not at all sad that it did. Um... I, I kind of, in a way, I just sort of respect it, you know? Dark Happy horse, I guess. Halloween uh, of 2024. <laughs> right, fun lads out there. Yeah. Happy Halloween. 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 From us, that's about that. So, that's that. Ooh, goodbye. Goodbye, good everyone. Bye. See you bye, next bye, year. Bye. Goodbye. You think you could turn back time? you bring me Ooh, it's the spookiest time of year and what's more suitable than efap celebrating with a brand new set of terrifying plushies introducing the efap halloween plushie set starting with Morla the longpire a terrifying monster of blood thirst and long this cuddly beast is both infamous and primal in his desire to drain the very soul from the world of media. And he's coming for you. But he's not alone. How could the Longpire be complete without his trusty doggo? Ragzolantern! Poised charmingly in his pumpkin, your Ragzolantern will be there to offer his support and encouragement and sarcastic commentary to all your endeavors. This gourd-adorned Shiba Inu will give your pumpkin patch a pantalooned pooch's worth of company and of course, both of these fine fiendish fellows are joined by yet another. Though his eyes may have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, Fringy the Raven will gladly perch atop your couch, cuddly and at the ready. This Corvid ventures nowhere without his scythe, and he's more than ready to slash his way through all obstacles. But not without the final member of this cutthroat cohort. Hear the bell as it strikes the hour of the wolf. When the midnight sky is red, a beast shall emerge from the forest to plunder your local pizza parlor. Behold, the dreaded werewolf, complete with the sunken eyes of a beast who avoids the searing heat of the sun, carrying with him a slice of his latest victim. This legend of the night will surely be a fantastic addition to this crew of dark demons and pumpkin playmates. But that's not all, no sir. Have you ever left home only to worry you're leaving the members of your favorite podcast behind? Do you despair when Mauler's commentary, Fringy's laughs, Wolf's fury, or Rags's puns aren't around anymore? Well, anguish no longer. Now you can stay warm and cozy during those chilly autumn days while constantly explaining to everyone that no, it's not electronic fapping, I swear. Introducing the official Every Frame a Pause Halloween hoodie. Perfect for lounging around indoors, shopping, long walks on the pier, weddings, baby showers, funerals, Halloween. Christmas, complete with the expected furnishings of the season as well as some gorgeous artwork by Black Soul Odin. The EFAP hoodie is ready to keep you warm and comfy through those winter months. There may even be a surprise guest on the back. Pick up yours today because once the campaign ends it'll be gone for good. And don't forget Mola the Longpire, Rags o' Lantern, Fringy the Raven, and Werewolf. Completing the EFAP Halloween set. For every item you pick up together, the discount will increase. Be sure about what you'd like before it's too late, as the spooky season will not last forever. Find them all at makeship.com forward slash shop forward slash EFAP. All links can be found in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the show. We will see you next time. <laughs>